<laughs> I don't know, for whatever reason, somehow the, uh, the microphone output got muted. Right, sound check from here in Pocatello before game one of the doubleheader with Century. Sound check one, two, three. One, two, three, sound check number one.
Okay, can you do the news on time? <coughs> so, how long is the first song after the news? So we'll, uh, yeah, we'll go after the first song, I guess. And I'll just, I'll just stay on here with you. Oh, really? This is your countdown for the Preston Indians pregame show. Pregame in 30 seconds from Mark. As we'll have a good game today, hopefully. And pregame show will start in 15 seconds from Mark. Why is this not cooperating today? Pregame in uh, 10 seconds from Mark. No, it's uh, just trying to get the uh, the. Uh, The little dancing thing, or there it is. There it is. It moves. Okay. Now we're good.
This is your countdown for the Preston Indians pregame show. Pregame in 30 seconds from Mark. As we'll have a good game today, hopefully. And pregame show will start in 15 seconds from Mark. Pregame in uh, 10 seconds from Mark. Have a good game. Pre-game show in five seconds from Mark. Let's go! This is the Preston Indians pregame show. Coming up, we'll take a look at tonight's game. We'll hear from the coach and look at the pregame stats all leading up to tonight's action. You're listening to live coverage of the Preston Indians on 105.5 FM, AM 1340, and mylocalradio.com. And a very pleasant good afternoon, everybody, as we welcome you here to Pocatello as this afternoon the Preston Indians get ready to take on the Century Diamondbacks in a doubleheader to, to complete their three-game series in the conference play here in 2024. Yesterday, the Indians coming up with a nice 7-4 come-from-behind win at home at Tony Hansen Field. And uh, the, both teams are going to send their pretty much their best pitchers to the mound today in Game 1 as it will be Austin Gleed on the mound today for the uh, Preston Indians as Gleed will go up against Eli uh, Elias Blackhawk for the Century Diamondbacks. So it uh, promises to be a pretty good game, a good pitching matchup here for this afternoon's first game of the doubleheader. We'll come back, we'll talk a little bit more about what is on tap for the Indians and about uh, yesterday's win at home to snap that three-game losing streak. We'll do all that as we continue here on the pregame show uh, brought to you by our friends at uh, North Star's Ultimate Outdoors as they'll sponsor our News and Notes segment coming up next. Remember to get ready for your next outdoor adventure at North Star's Ultimate Outdoors on State Street at the north end of the city of Preston. This is the Indians pregame show on the My Local Radio Sports Network. We'll be right back. K-A-C-H, mylocalradio.com. Wattsmart is Rocky Mountain Power's energy efficiency program. Wattsmart provides rebates to residential customers for energy efficiency upgrades made around the home. Devices and appliances that use electricity in your home can usually be made more efficient and that can save you money and energy. When you decide to make upgrades, we have rebates available for you. Visit wattsmarthomes.com today. Are you looking to buy or sell a home, but confused where to even begin the process? Come to the most trusted and longest established real estate group in Franklin County with Bailey Beckstead Real Estate Team. We've been a proud part of this community since 1979 when my dad, Scott Beckstead, began here in Preston. Since our founding, we've come to know the importance of honesty and promoting a community of giving back. Contact me, Bailey Beckstead, and our team at Beckstead Real Estate for all your real estate needs, buying, selling, or renting. It's always refreshing to shop where you know you'll be appreciated. It's even better to know that you can get everything you need, quality parts at fair prices. The team at Preston Auto Parts CarQuest appreciates every customer. They work hard to make sure that you have the right part the first time, on time. Whether it's motorcycles, farm and ranch, lawn and garden or car or truck parts, you can always get it all at Preston Auto Parts CarQuest. Stop in where you'll be treated like a friend. 17 South State Street, Preston. 105.5 FM KACH. I'm Dan Keller, Mayor of Preston. 
And we are Preston Proud and Idaho Strong. Hi, I'm Jay Butters with Alta Bank, and we are Preston Proud, Idaho Strong. Hi, this is Lyle Fuller with the Fuller & Fuller Law Firm, and we are Preston Proud and Idaho Strong. Hi, I'm Larry Morrison with Evergreen Financial Partners. We are Preston Proud and Idaho Strong. 105.5 KACH. We're Preston Proud, Idaho Strong, serving Franklin County and beyond. North Star's Ultimate Outdoors is the best provider of power sport vehicles right here in downtown Preston. Vehicles and equipment from brand names that you know and trust, like Steel, Polaris, and Yamaha. Stop in and let us get you ready for your next adventure at North Star's Ultimate Outdoors. It's where the fun starts, 777 North State Street, Preston. K-A-C-H, mylocalradio.com. It was a uh, heck of an athlete for the for the uh, Diamondbacks as as uh, he was uh, he will go to the mound today. I got it. Thanks. As uh, so, Preston will kind of try to bounce back, even though they picked up a win yesterday to snap that three-game losing streak that they had. They won the game seven to four to improve the record to two and five overall on the year. Uh, and snapped that losing streak. They did very well. I mean, they, uh, Connor Thompson pitched very well for the first five innings, uh, even though he didn't figure in the final outcome of the game. Then Preston pounded out eight hits. They scored the, the seven runs. They ended up leaving nine guys on base. So they got quite a few runners on base during the game, which was always a good thing, too. For the Diamondbacks suffering the loss, they are now 2-8 and eight on the year and have lost five in a row as they'll try to right that ship against the Indians here in the doubleheader today. A couple of interesting lineup changes for Preston in the lineup today as Jason Hollinsworth, who had caught the first oh, half dozen games or so, is back out in right field again today. Uh, Ezra Benavides, who made his varsity debut yesterday at first base, is going to move back in behind home plate. He will do the catching today as the... Uh, Umpires make their way out onto the field, so it looks like we're going to be starting early here, unfortunately. Uh, so Clayton Hobbs is back in center field today, and that pretty much the, the lineup with uh, Cade Oxborough going back in behind uh, at first base again today as well for the uh, for the Preston Indians. So we'll take a timeout. We'll see how much more of the pregame show we can get in as the umpires look like they want to try to get the game started early here today as they're already out on the field. So we'll take a timeout. We'll come back. We'll look at other games going on today and have the starting lineups in the first pitch. It's all coming up as the pregame show continues right after this timeout. K-A-C-H, mylocalradio.com. Hey, Preston. Looking for a cool spot to chill and grab some awesome food? Head to the Hangout at 23 South State Street. We're not just a restaurant. We're your go-to spot to hang with your family and friends. Pool tables, games, great vibes, and the same amazing pizza you loved from The Slice. Swing by the Hangout today. Ready has provided safety and excellence in industrial construction and support services since 1982. From insulation and scaffolding to paintings and coatings, our crews are standing by to assist with new construction, maintenance projects, facilities shutdowns, and more. 
Contact us today to ensure your assets are protected and functional. Interested in joining our team? Visit ReadyUSA.com. We are ready. At Farm Bureau Insurance, the Smith Agency, we aren't just protecting things with walls and wills. We're protecting people because everything and everyone that is important to you is important to us. This is Brittany and Braden Smith, your local Farm Bureau agents, celebrating another wonderful year here in Franklin County as your trusted insurance advisors. Whether it's home, auto, life, commercial, or farm insurance, we are here for you. Give us a call at 208-852-2364 or just stop by our office at 33 South First East in Preston to see how we can make insurance simple for you. K-A-C-H, mylocalradio.com. And welcome back to the pregame show as Preston and Century square off in a doubleheader today here in Pocatello. But there are quite a few other games going on around the area, so let's look at our out-of-town schedule brought to you by Naylor Insurance. For home health, life, and auto, stop by and find out how much you can save at Naylor Insurance at 223 North State Street in Preston. Other games today include Shelley. They hit the road as they'll go to Hillcrest as they'll play a doubleheader there as well. Bueller and Filer will also square off in a doubleheader today. Salmon heads to North Fremont. Sugar Salem hits the road as they go to Teton. Jerome hits the road as they'll take on Mountain Home today. Canyon Ridge heads cross town as they'll take on Twin Falls. Meridian goes up against Boise. Kuna will face Bora. Eagle and Capital will get together today. Nampa will take on Owani. It'll be Mountain View at Rocky Mountain. And Middleton will be at Timberline. In addition to those games, Soda Springs, Nampa Christian, Declo, Lighthouse Christian, Wilder, Chalice McKay, Gooding, and Wendell will all be in action today as they'll be at Glens Ferry High School in the Boise area to participate in the Glens Ferry Woodbat Tournament getting started today. And that's your look at other games going on around the area brought to you by Naylor Insurance. For home health, life, and auto, make sure you stop by Naylor Insurance at 223 North State Street in Preston. Well, game one of the doubleheader between Preston and the Century Diamondbacks is just around the corner. We'll take a timeout. We'll have the starting lineups and the first pitch for game one coming up right after this on KECH and on the My Local Radio Sports Network. We all have those times in life where having insurance has been a great comfort in helping to make a bad situation better. Naylor Insurance takes pride in being that friend there to help you when you need it the most. Serving the community since 1978, Naylor Insurance is proud to represent a number of carriers to fit your insurance needs. Stop by our new location, 223 North State Street in Preston. Webb Funeral Home is proud to be the leading provider of funeral services in Northern Cache Valley, including Southeast Idaho, for almost 100 years. We are a full service mortuary offering the highest quality services with very affordable pricing. We have plans to meet everyone's budget from traditional funeral services to graveside services and cremation options. We gladly provide free insurance coverage review, quality headstones and monuments, as well as funeral transcriptions. Let us answer any questions you might have by calling us at 208-852-0533. Webb Funeral Home, a trusted name in funeral service since 1925. Discover your ultimate escape at Day Mountain Ranch. Come enjoy our upscale lodges, perfect for family reunions and corporate retreats. Unwind, bond, and make memories that last in one of our luxury cabins. Host your dream wedding on our secluded property, perfect with a captivating nature backdrop. Or join our gun club. Rent or bring your own firearms and master your skills in private classes or dynamic group sessions at our premier state-of-the-art private gun range up to 2,200 yards. Your outdoor adventure and retreat begins at Day Mountain Ranch, 77 South Spring Creek Road, Preston, Idaho. Reserve your spot now at dmrresort.com. 
Across the FM airwaves, we're heard at 105.5. On the far-reaching AM dial, we're at 1340. And on the internet at mylocalradio.com. Wherever you find us, we are KACH. Preston, Smithfield, Logan. It's time for Preston High School Sports. Today's game is brought to you by Bexted Real Estate, the real estate experts for Franklin County and beyond. Day Mountain Ranch, relax, retreat, recharge. Crumble Cookies, bringing friends and family together over the world's best cookies. Magnolia Road, ladies, stop in and update your wardrobe today. Puppy Steps Training, Northern Utah and Southern Idaho's premier board and puppy training facility since 2011. Butterfly Express Essential Oils in Clifton, where quality doesn't have to be expensive. West Motors, your only stop for newer used cars in Preston and in Logan. Stokes Market True Value, with the freshest meat and produce in Preston. Webb Funeral Home, serving Preston and surrounding communities since 1925. Ralph's Construction, building homes in the Blue Sage Park area of Preston. I care for you, not just a name, but a commitment. Franklin County Medical Center, with the finest care in all of the Cache Valley. Preston Auto Parts Car Quest. We have all the parts you need to keep your car running strong. Naylor Insurance, your local agent for home, health, life, and auto. North Stars Ultimate Outdoors. Get ready for your next outdoor adventure at North Stars Ultimate Outdoors in Preston. Evergreen Financial Partners. When planning your future, trust the experts at Evergreen Financial Partners in Preston and now in Pocatello. Farm Bureau Insurance, the Smith Agency. Don't leave the things that matter to you to chance. Call Farm Bureau Insurance, the Smith Agency today. Northern Title, the trusted name in the tri-state area. And by Papa Jay's Deli and Jerky in Clifton. This broadcast is made possible through an agreement of Preston Broadcasting LLC and Preston High School and is a production of Preston Broadcasting LLC. This game is intended for the private, non-commercial use of our audience. Any rebroadcast or reproduction of this broadcast without express written consent of Old West Media is strictly prohibited. K-A-C-H. And welcome back here to Hollowell Field in Pocatello as it's time for to play some baseball here as the Indians and the Diamondbacks will square off once again today as they'll meet in a doubleheader coming up with the uh, first pitch on the way in just a matter of moments. Time for our starting lineups today brought to you by Webb Funeral Home serving Preston and the surrounding communities since 1925. For the Indians, they will line up this way here today as it'll be Cade Oxborough back in his leadoff spot at first base. Eli Hammonds will bat in the uh, second spot. He'll be at second base today. Connor Thompson is the shortstop. He'll hit third. Austin Gleed will do the pitching today for the Indians in the first game, and he'll hit in the four spot. It will be Zabian Mendoza hitting fifth. He's over at third base this afternoon. Clayton Hobbs is in center field. He'll hit sixth. Jansen Hollingsworth will, I should say Jackson Merrill is the designated hitter. He'll hit seventh. Jansen Hollingsworth is in right. He'll bat in the eighth spot. And Ezra Benavides will do the catching and bat ninth. For the Diamondbacks, Elias Blackhawk starts on the mound. He'll hit leadoff as well. Dax Paulson will hit second and bat play in center field. Gavin Flynn is the right fielder. He'll hit third. Jackson Zaccardi is the first baseman. He will hit in the four spot. Jax Maddox is the catcher. He'll hit fifth. Uh, Hiram Curtis hits uh, sixth. He'll be over at first base. Dyklid Uribe is the shortstop. He'll hit seventh. Ben Call is in left field. He'll hit in the eighth spot. And C.J. Short plays at second base, and he will hit ninth 
in the lineup today for the uh, for the Century Diamondbacks. Remind you that Jackson Merrill is the DH. That means that uh, Derek Pitcher is our flex player today for the Indians, and he will play at uh, in the outfield, in right field, uh, left field, as a matter of fact. So we're underway in the first pitch to Cade Oxborough is hit foul off the first base side, and it's 0 and 1. The first pitch coming at 3:26 here this afternoon. Good looking day, just a few high clouds, a little bit of a breeze blowing in from left field. Next pitch to Oxborough is hit on the ground to first base. There to glove it and carry it to the bag is the first baseman Zaccardi, and that's the first out here in the first inning. So one out, and that'll bring up Eli Hammonds. Hammonds, who yesterday was 0 for 3 in the game at uh, in Preston, drew the caller as a breaking ball over for a strike from Blackhawk, and it's 0 and 1. The 0 1 pitch bounces up there, another breaking ball as he Bounced it in the left-hand hitter's box, and it's a one ball and one strike on on Hammonds. Blackhawk, quite the athlete, football, basketball, and and pitches on the baseball team and plays a pretty good shortstop as well. So he, believe me, he is one of the big men on campus as far as sports goes here at Century. Now the one-two pitch on the way, breaking ball is over his head and evens the count at two against Hammonds. Blackhawk ready again. Here comes the 2-2 offering. Little half swing at a home plate and a hit foul right down off the off his foot in front out in front of home plate. So the count will stay at two and two. So for Blackhawk, trying to get his team back on the winning side as they've lost five in a row. That ball hit in the air to center field. Up in that bright sunshine, and the outfielders lose it as it falls in between the center and left fielders. They throw to second base, and he is going to be safe there. So it's going to go as a sun double for Eli Hammonds. What few clouds there are are really kind of wispy, and you look up in, into that bright sun, and you lose the ball, baseball very easily. And that's exactly what happened as the right fielder Flynn came over along with the uh, center fielder Paulson and neither of them could find the ball let alone get under it to make the catch as the first pitch to Connor Thompson is hit foul back behind home plate. Century looks bunt as the first baseman Zac uh, Zaccardi comes way up on the grass breaking ball over for a strike. And it's no balls and two strikes. They're really trying to bird dog Hammonds at second base, keep him close to the bag as the pitch hit off the end of the bat. That's going to go foul up along the first base side. And it stays at no balls and two strikes on Hammonds. Or check that on Thompson. Pitch home. That's going to be lined to right field. Up on it comes uh, the right fielder, Flynn, but he's going to have to cut the pull up short as that's going to fall in front of him. And Thompson puts runners at the corners as he picks up his first hit of the game today. So runners at the corners and one out. And now here comes Austin Gleed trying to give himself a little, little cushion here before he even goes out to throw a pitch here this afternoon. lead one hit yesterday struck out also grounded into a double play as the first pitch to Austin hit right back at the mound bad hop off the glove of the pitcher as they'll try to give it the force out at second base which they do the ball deflected way up in the air as the second baseman short was able to catch it and carry it to the bag to get the force out on Thompson That'll be a force four unassisted for the first out and coming home from third base 
was Hammonds to give the Indians a one nothing lead. So give the give the RBI to Gleed on the fielder's choice. As Austin over at first base, two outs now here in the uh, top of the first inning and a run home for the Indians. Here's Zabian Mendoza as he late on the first pitch tried to steer it over toward right field. And he falls behind in the count. I believe it's 0-2. So a run on a couple of hits here for the Indians in the uh, first inning as that pitch is up high. One ball and two strikes to count on Zabian Mendoza here in the first inning for the Indians. Here comes the one-two pitch from Blackhawk. In the dirt, bounces away, and there goes Gleed for second base. That'll be a wild pitch to allow Austin to move up into scoring position now with a one-two count. Check that, a two-two count on Zabian Mendoza. Zabian yesterday had one hit as he's extended a hitting streak out to four games now as that pitch is on the corner strike three called Mendoza goes down looking for the third out however the Indians get a run on a couple of hits no errors and they leave one on base as well in the top of the first inning so after a half inning here from Hollowell Field the scoreboard brought to you by Flying S. Tidlin Escrow says one nothing Preston is we'll take a timeout and we'll be back right after this on KACH and on the My Local Radio Sports Network. KACH, mylocalradio.com. Protecting buyers and lenders in Cache Valley for over 40 years, Northern Title is the trusted name in the tri-state areas of Idaho, Utah, and Wyoming. The staff at Northern Title in Preston protect you from unknown complications like access issues, unpaid taxes, hidden liens, or easement restrictions. Choose the right title company. Choose to close with Northern Title of Preston. Good deeds done daily. Call today at 208-852-5700. Magnolia Road is here to bring you the latest trends in women's fashion. We believe fashion should not only be stylish, but also comfortable and inclusive for every body type, with sizes small through 3X. We strongly believe in giving back to our community, and by supporting Magnolia Road, you are not only embracing fashion, but also supporting Preston and Westside activities. Our team is here to help you find that perfect outfit that suits your style and makes you feel confident. Visit Magnolia Road at our new location, 12 North State Street, Preston, Idaho. KACH, mylocalradio.com. So we move along here to the bottom of inning number one as the Indians get a run in the top of the first and they lead one nothing here this afternoon in game at two of the series in the first game of the doubleheader here against the Century Diamondbacks. So Elias Blackhawk to lead it off. He has a first pitch over for a strike. He'll be followed by Dax Paulson and then Gavin Flynn do up for the Diamondbacks here in the bottom of inning number one. Gleed stands with one foot on the rubber. Roxon comes home. The next pitch is going to be a ground ball to the uh, right side. Dropped, picked back up, throw to first, and it's not in time. As the ground ball to the second baseman, Hammonds, as he had to kind of fight it off and ended up not being able to get the play on time, so it's going to be a... They call it an infield hit here. So that's what we'll, we'll go along with as well. So it's an infield hit for Elias Blackhawk. Let's, get, let's check the Indians with the leather here in the, in the bottom of the first inning as Cade Oxborough is the first baseman. Eli Hammonds will play second here in the first game of the doubleheader as Dax Paulson climbs in. There goes Blackhawk, and the pitch is hit foul on a little bunt attempt by Paulson, and it's 0-1-1. Connor Thompson's the shortstop, and Xavier Mendoza plays over at third. The outfield from left to right is, is a pitcher, Hobbs, and Hollingsworth. Benavidez behind the plate, and Austin Gleed on the mound here for Preston. Gleed ready. 
Checks Blackhawk a couple of times. He breaks again. Ground ball to third. Zip Mendoza has it. Knocks it down. Picks it up. And throws across in time for the out. As Paulson grounds out 5-3 for the first out. But Blackhawk running on the pitch is able to advance to second base. So they put the tying run in scoring position to the, the Diamondbacks. And with one out, here comes Gavin Flynn. Flynn had a couple of hits yesterday, so he's able to raise his batting average as he loops that one along the right field side. Coming over is Hollingsworth, but he's going to run out of room as it falls in foul territory, and it's 0-1. So Flynn raised his batting average yesterday by 17 points with those two hits. As he starts today hitting 417, that ball hit foul again off the right field side, and it's 0-2. So no balls and two strikes. Gleed making his, his fourth appearance on the mound this year. As he comes home with the next pitch, ground ball to second. That's, uh, that's Hammonds there to glove, throw across in time to for the first base. And with two outs, Blackhawk now stands over at third base. This is where Preston did a good job yesterday. They got the third outs when they needed them to get out of the innings that they needed to. So here is Jackson Zaccardi and takes the first pitch over for a strike, and it's 0-1. Zaccardi hitting from the right side. The 0-1 pitch. That's over again, and it's 0-2. Uh, Zaccardi drew the caller last night over at Preston, was 0-3. Did have a sacrifice bunt in the game, however, as the next pitch, a breaking ball that misses just outside, and it's a uh, ball and two strikes on Jackson Zaccardi. Lead ready again, the 1-2. Hit foul back to the screen. So stays at one and two on Zaccardi. Lead with a new ball, comes back home. The next pitch is going to be lined to center, base hit. That ties the game at one as Blackhawk comes in. So the RBI single for Zaccardi, his first hit of the series. He makes it good as he picks up the run to tie the, tie the game at 1-1. So the run is in, and that'll bring up the catcher, Jack Maddox. Maddox will hit from the left side here against Gleed as the runner first not going anywhere as a pitch down. Nice block by Benavides behind home plate. One ball and no strikes. Lead ready again, comes home. That ball jerked foul out along the right field line. And it's going to be one ball and one strike. Maddox also went hitless in the game yesterday, but he was on base a couple of times. He walked and was also hit by a pitch at one point as the pitch is swung on and missed. Now they're going to have a little rundown here as the runner goes halfway. They throw back to Oxborough. It makes the uh, makes the tag and the out recorded as Zaccardi is out on the play two uh, two three six three as he was uh, picked off base, but the run is in and Maddox will be back up there when the Century Diamondbacks come back up in the top of the next inning. So we're even at one, according to the Flying S. Title and Escrow scoreboard, as we'll go to the second here this afternoon, after an inning. Tied at one, it's the Diamondbacks and the Preston Indians on KACH and on the My Local Radio Sports Network. 
K-A-C-H, mylocalradio.com. Ready is committed to providing superior services to our customers by requiring individual accountability for excellence in quality, safety, and dependability. We are a growing company that is currently hiring across Wyoming, Colorado, Texas, Nevada, Idaho, and elsewhere. Our valued team members receive competitive wages, full benefits, and weekly pay. Interested in joining our team? Visit ReadyUSA.com. We are ready. Step into a realm of beauty and sophistication at Day Mountain Ranch Home and Apothecary. Immerse yourself in the gentle radiance of our exquisite and popular candles, filling your home with captivating fragrances that embrace the senses. Bring refined tranquility into your home and elevate your connection to harmony through our exquisite decor, all while staying here in Franklin County. Elevate your living space with the allure of Day Mountain Ranch Home and Apothecary. Visit us today on 10th North Main Street in downtown Preston. K-A-C-H, mylocalradio.com. Well, each team with a run on two hits in the first inning. As we'll go along to the second, Dan Hubbard here in Pocatello. John Beverly back in the studio. Glad to have you with us this afternoon for game one of the doubleheader. And here in the second inning for the Indians, it'll be Clayton Hobbs, Jackson Merrill, and Jansen Hollingsworth due up as the first pitch from Blackhawk is up high. Ball one. One ball and no strikes. Hobbs with one hit yesterday. He was one for two. Had a double and drove in a run in the game. As the pitch over for a strike, it's a ball and a strike here on Hobbs. The 1-1 offering stays high as he tried to run it away from him and it goes to two balls and a strike. Next pitch to Hobbs, little fly ball into short uh, right field area. However, it's the second baseman short going back to play it. He's able to make the catch for the first out. So it's one out, and now here is Jackson Merrill. Merrill, who was two for three yesterday, scored a run, also walked, and had a couple of RBIs in the game yesterday as well, as the next pitch is high and away again. Ball two to Merrill, two balls and no strikes. Here's the 2 1, the 2 0 pitch. It's inside and it hits him. So Merrill's going to head down to first base, being hit by a pitch. Indians trying to get something going here in the second inning here against Blackhawk. One out, one on. Here's Jansen Hollingsworth. Next pitch hit off the end of the bat into right field for a hit. Merrill will go to second base and stay there. So Hollingsworth singles. And here is the uh, catcher, Ezra Benavides. Runners at first and second with one out. And Benavides takes the first pitch over for a strike. And it's 0-1.
Next pitch home to Ezra. That's swung on and missed. And it's 0-2. So Benavides hit, uh, hitless yesterday in his varsity debut. The 0-2 pitch taking, and it's low on a breaking ball from Blackhawk. One ball and two strikes. Fastball high again, and it's two and two. Outfield straight away, kind of average depth. Blackhawk stretches, looks back at the runner, and comes home, misses again, and it runs the count full three and two. Now let's see what Coach Thompson has in mind. 3-2, one out, a couple of men on base, and a 1-1 tie here early on. They will not go as Blackhawks pitch is hit foul off of the, the first base side. And it stays full at three balls and two strikes. Blackhawk sets again. And now here comes again the 3-2 pitch and misses down and away to load the bases. So Blackhawk got Hobbs to pop up to start the inning. And since then, a hit batter, a single, and a, and a walk load the bases back to the top of the order. And Cade Oxborough will come back up. Today's game brought to you by Puppy Steps Training. It's an eight-week board and train program designed to give your puppy a head start in life. Wouldn't your life be better with a well-trained dog from Puppy Steps Training? So here is Oxborough who takes the first pitch outside, ball one, and it's one ball and no strikes. Oxborough grounded out to first his first time up here today as that pitch over for a strike, and the count evens at a ball and a strike. Blackhawk works out of the windup with the bases full. The next pitch to Oxborough is lifted toward right field. Here comes Flynn over in the right center, makes the catch. Tagging is Merrill. He'll come to the plate and score. And moving up to third is Hollingsworth. And Benavides stayed over at first base, so Preston gets a run on the scoring fly ball by Kate Oxborough. That's the second out of the inning. And now here is Eli Hammonds. So Preston moves in front. So it's 2-1. Pitch home to Hammonds, swung on and missed. As he tried to steer one toward right field. Hammonds doubled, came home to score in the first inning. Gave, gave Preston their first run, trying to give them a little bit more here. Hits a ball in the air off the first base side. Zaccardi in foul territory makes the catch to end the inning. But not before the Indians get another run in the inning. One run on just the one hit. There was also a hit batter and a walk, and they leave a couple of men on base here as well. So we'll go to the bottom of the second. After one and a half, it's Preston two, uh, Century one on the Flying S Tideland escrow scoreboard. We'll be back on the My Local Radio Sports Network. K A C H MyLocalRadio.com. Whether you're an athlete looking to treat strained or sore muscles, a multitasking mom seeking balance, or just looking to boost your mood and nutrition, Butterfly Express is here for you. Experience the soothing scents and holistic benefits that cater to both your body and mind with our wide selection of essential oils, herbs, and supplements. And the best part is, unlike other big brand companies, Butterfly Express is affordable and local. Visit us in Clifton or explore our collection online at butterflyexpress.shop and use the promo code KACH10 for 10% off all regularly priced items. Quality doesn't have to be expensive. Butterfly Express Essential Oils. 
There's no better family activity than a night out at the movies. Worm Creek Opera House Theater on State Street in Preston is your local home for first-run family movies. The historic theater offers top-flight comfort, the coolest refreshments, and quality entertainment all at family prices. Stop by the Worm Creek Opera House at 70 South State Street in downtown Preston. For tickets, showtimes, and a list of upcoming attractions, go to wormcreek.org. K-A-C-H, mylocalradio.com. All right, 2-1 Preston here as we go to the bottom of the second as the first baseman, I should say the catcher, Jack Maddox, will lead off here for the Diamondbacks as he was left standing at home plate when the last out was recorded. Hits a ground ball wider first. That's off the glove of Oxborough. As Cade not able to make the play, and that's going to go as an infield hit. So Maddox picks up a hit as Oxborough not able to make the play off wide of the bag. As I go back to first base and back to the bag is Maddox. So here's Curtis at the plate. Next pitch home. It's hit in the air toward right field. That's hit pretty well. It's going to send Hollingsworth way back. He's not going to get it. In fact, it's going to bounce around off the wall, the deepest part of right field. Zaccardi to third, and they're going to hold him there as it'll be a long double for Hiram Curtis. So Curtis turned on one, hit it pretty well, and hit it off the fence. He was one for three yesterday, and he has a hit here in his first at bat today. So runners at first and second, nobody out. And here is Dyklad Uribe, the shortstop as he takes the first pitch outside, ball one, one ball and no strikes. Next ball is lined at the second baseman and no further play. So Ribe lines out. First out of the inning and now here comes Ben Call. Call drew the caller last night. Struck out three times and he reached on an error. He was 0 for four in the game. First pitch to call is rolled foul over on the third base side. Today's game brought to you by West Motors, your only stop for new or used cars in Preston and in Logan. And by Northern Title, the trusted name in the tri-state area. Good deeds done daily. Call today at 208-852-5700. As the next pitch misses down and away, and it's one ball and one strike. Preston with a run in the first and in the second. They lead it 2-1 as that pitch is on the inside half for a strike against Call. And it's now 1-2. and two. two on, one out here in the bottom of the second inning. That's going to be looped into short center and it's going to fall. It'll get one run in. They're going to hold the other runner at third base. So it'll be a 2-2 tie, but there's still two men on on the third hit of the inning here by the Diamondbacks as Call just reaches out and pokes one into center field and picks up the RBI. For Call, just his second hit of the year. And now here's the number nine hitter, C.J. Short playing at second base. So it's a 2-2 tie. There goes the runner on the first pitch, hit in the air to right field. Again, Hollingsworth over, makes the catch. Tagging and coming home and will score without a play is Curtis as Century takes a one-run lead on the scoring fly ball by C.J. Curtis. So there's two outs and the runner stays at first base. And we're tied at two once again here in the bottom of, uh, of inning number two. 
And we go back to the top of the order again. Here's Elias Blackhawk as Eli takes the first pitch outside. Ball one, one ball and no strikes. Eli singled to open up the bottom of the first inning, eventually worked his way around to score. The only run scored by the by the Diamondbacks in the first inning as that pitch from Gleed is down low, ball two, two balls and a strike. So two runs on three hits in the inning as, Dime, as Blackhawk hits that pitch foul. And it stays at two balls and a strike. Two outs here in the inning. The mixed pitch to Blackhawk. That's over for a strike again. And is now even at two balls and two strikes. So Gleed really kind of came in and challenged Blackhawk and got him to lay off the pitch and took a strike. So Gleed back on top of the hill again. And there goes the runner, and the pitch is hit foul at home plate. Good tight curveball there from Austin Gleed. And all Blackhawk could do was fight it off and hit it foul. So call goes back to first base. Gleed ready again. Pitches outside, runner goes. Benavides drops it and then throws it late and behind uh, the Thompson coming over to cover. So call steals second base. And the count now full three and two. With two outs as as, uh, Blackhawk waits at the plate and the next pitch is a breaking ball that misses outside. So to extend the inning, it's the first walk of the inning. First walk given up by right. Austin Gleed. Uh, if you check out the QR code, the QR code that is on the bleachers on both the athlete side as well as the parents side. As the first pitch here to Dex Paulson is up high, ball one. If you look over to one ball right and no strikes. Side, that's the green flag, of course, which is corner one. Corner two is the yellow flag, and then the white flag over here is corner. The 1 0 pitch on the way is again hit foul. But you'll notice that it is and it one is one ball and one strike. Hurdles, as well as the so I guess we have a track meet going on over at uh, Lookout Field today. That's the, uh, that's, the com- that's the PA announcer you hear in the background. It's not here at the ballpark, that's over at the football stadium. As again, the, foot- the uh, pitch is outside low again, ball two, two balls and a strike. Remember That's where uh, Pocatello's new football stadium is. It's just out beyond right field. We played there, Preston did, earlier this year. The 2-1 pitch is hit, is uh, rolled. No, it's a live ball as it gets away from Benavides. He's able to hustle and go pick it up, however, with no advancement by the runners. So... <clears throat> Please get off the track. So two and Let's two, two outs, sure uh, two on. Deuces wild here against Paulson, who grounded out his first time up. The next pitch again misses outside by Gleed. It runs the count full three and two. So the runners will be away on the pitch. Call from second, Blackhawk at, uh, from first. As they, they go and the pitch is low again, ball four to load the bases. So back-to-back walks, loads the bases for the Diamondbacks, and here's the number number uh, three hitter, Gavin Flynn, will come back up. As the first pitch to Flynn is whacked the center, base hit. That will score call. Here comes Blackhawk around third. He will score as well. It's a two-run single for Gavin Flynn. And it's four runs in the inning for the Century Diamondbacks who now open up a 5-2 lead. Still runners at second and third as Paulson stops at third. Flynn comes to goes to second on the throw home. And here is Jackson Zaccardi, the ninth man to hit here in the inning, and takes the first pitch over for a strike, and it's 0-1. 
lead ready again, comes home, and that pitch on the inside half for a called strike, and it's 0-2. So Zaccardi singled in his first at bat here today. The next pitch is inside and hits him. So that will load the bases again, uh, for the Diamondbacks. And the 10th man to hit in the inning will be Jackson Zaccardi, who led off the inning with a single and eventually, or I should say, was hit by a pitch, I should say, to open the inning. As the first pitch of Zaccardi is a breaking ball that actually ends up going behind his feet for a ball, ball one. Next pitch again misses outside, ball two, two and oh. I take it back, it's Jack Maddox, I should say, at the plate. Not Zaccardi, as Maddox takes again, ball three, three balls and no strikes. The 3 0 pitch on the way, that's going to walk in a run. So Maddox drives in what becomes the fifth run of the inning. And now here comes Sean Thompson out to the mound to come out and talk to Austin Gleed. And as he does that, we can remind you that this timeout is brought to you by Magnolia Road. Ladies, remember you can stop by and update your look at Magnolia Road. You'll find them in downtown Preston at 12 North State Street in Preston. Today's game also brought to you by Farm Bureau Insurance, the Smith Agency. Don't leave the things that matter to you to chance. Call Farm Bureau Insurance, the Smith Agency today or stop by 33 South 1st East in Preston. You can reach them on the phone at 208-852-2364. So here's Hiram Curtis. Curtis doubled earlier this inning and also scored a run. He's up there with the bases loaded. Four runs in in the inning, it's 5-1. First pitch over for a strike to Curtis. Here's the 0-1. Bounces up there. Nice save by Benavides, and it's one ball and one strike. For Curtis, that double that he had earlier this inning was his third extra base hit of the year. The next pitch is swung on and missed, and it's now 1-2. and two. One ball, two strikes. Here comes Gleed with the one-two offering. Roll foul over by the on-deck circle for the Diamondbacks. One-two pitch. Again, hit foul this time off the third base side. So four runs on four hits in the inning. The breaking ball misses outside. Evens the count at twos once again. Two balls and two strikes. Lead winds, comes home, the 2-2 pitch. It's a ground ball to to the right side. As Hammonds has it, he'll flip it across to third, to first. And the inning is over, but not before. Century scores four times in the inning on four hits. There was no errors, and they leave the bases loaded here in the game. So a big inning. Kind of breaks it open a little bit here for Century. They lead by three as we're done with two innings on the uh, Flying S title and escrow scoreboard. It's 5-2. Century leads as we'll go to the third on KACH and on the My Local Radio Sports Network. K-A-C-H, mylocalradio.com. 
It's always refreshing to shop where you know you'll be appreciated. It's even better to know that you can get everything you need, quality parts at fair prices. The team at Preston Auto Parts CarQuest appreciates every customer. They work hard to make sure that you have the right part the first time, on time. Whether it's motorcycles, farm and ranch, lawn and garden, or car or truck parts, you can always get it all at Preston Auto Parts CarQuest. Stop in where you'll be treated like a friend. 17 South State Street, Preston. When you think of a medical center's vital signs, you think of a monitor beeping. Today, Franklin County Medical Center is sharing a new set of vital signs. They're the vital signs of a growing hospital. Our new medical office building is now home to the care you depend on. You'll visit us here for primary, specialty, and walk-in care. Franklin County Medical Center has been a vital part of the region's healthcare since 1929 right in your neighborhood. K-A-C-H, mylocalradio.com. Connor Thompson leads it off here in the top of the third inning for the Indians. First pitch is strike, then next pitch is a ball, and it's one ball in one strike. Thompson singled his first time up. Next pitch from Blackhawk, little roller up along third. That's going to go foul, and it's now one and two. Blackhawk ready again, the one-two pitch. Misses outside and a little high, two balls and two strikes. Just the first game of, of two here today, here for the, for the teams. Ground ball hit off the end of the bat toward the shortstop Uribe. Double pumps and it, it's gonna be too late on forward first base. When he double pumped, that gave Thompson the extra couple of steps that he needed for an infield hit. That's four hits for the Indians. And a leadoff single, two hits in the game here for Thompson. And now here is Austin Gleed. Gleed hit into a fielder's choice, but picked up an RBI with his first at bat here today. As that first pitch goes to the backstop, a little over, overthrown by, by Blackhawk. As that's gonna allow Thompson to go to second base on the wild pitch. One ball and no strikes on Gleed. That RBI that he had in his first at bat, his fourth of the year. The 1 0. That's the hit toward right center field, and that's going to fall in front of Paulson. And to third base goes Thompson as he stays there, goes from corner to corner on the hit by Austin Gleed, his first of the day. So two hits in the inning here for the Indians. And that'll bring up Xavier Mendoza who took a called third strike his first time up. Thompson's at third, Gleed at first. Blackhawk out of the stretch. There goes Gleed. The pitch is over for a strike. They throw back to third, not in time, as Austin will steal second base. So a big spot here for Xavier Mendoza. As the first pitch was a strike, it's 0-1. That pitch is up and in, up and in, one ball and one strike. Big spot if he can deliver here with a hit to pick up a couple of RBIs. Xavier, who's had one hit yesterday, was one for two, swings and misses here, and it's one ball and two strikes. So he's actually hit in four straight games. He had the double and scored twice yesterday. As Blackhawk now works out of the windup with runners at second and third in the one-two pitch. Curveball misses inside off the plate, two and two. Again, here comes the two-two pitch. And Zabian hits that one foul just right back over our heads out toward the parking lot here at Hollywell Field. And it stays at two and two. Nobody out. 
here in the top of inning number three in the first game of the double dip here against Century here today. The 2-2 offering as Mendoza again hangs tough as he hits another ball foul. So Mendoza hanging tough. Two balls and two strikes. New ball again for Blackhawk. As the right-hander rocks and comes home, the 2-2 pitch. Hit up the middle. That's going to be glove. Nope, short. Had to go off his glove. Everyone's going to be safe as Thompson comes home to score. So Mendoza will reach. Glead goes to third. Get on the tracks. Please stay off. Third hit of the inning for the Indians. No water on the track or the field. No so runners at the corners. And now here's Clayton Hobbs who popped up his first time up. Still nobody out here in the top of inning number three. As it's lined into right field. That's a base hit. Gleed comes home to score. Going to third is Mendoza. As the throw goes into third base. And that's going to let Hobbs go all the way over to second. So four hits in a row for the Indians to open the inning. Two runs have come in. All of a sudden, it's a one-run game again. Check out a two-run game. Is it 6-4? First pitch to Merrill was a strike. The next pitch is swung on and missed, and it's 0-2. The 0-2 pitch to Jackson Merrill is fouled into the catcher's glove, and that'll be the first out of the inning as Merrill goes down on strikes. So one out. Second strikeout for Blackhawk today. Still runners at first and second, and now here is Jansen Hollingsworth, who's single his first time up and loops one into right field, and that one's going to fall as well. That's going to get Mendoza home. Here comes Hobbs to the plate as the throw gets away, backed up by Blackhawk. It's a two-run single for Hollingsworth, and the Indians have tied the game at six. With the throw to the plate, Hollingsworth goes down to second base. Preston with five hits in the inning, and now here is the catcher, Ezra Benavides, who walked his first time up. As the first pitch to Benavides is swung on and missed, and it's 0-1. If you're doing relays, you I spoke earlier, I said Benavides did not have a hit. He actually had a hit in an RBI in that sixth inning uh, last night against uh, Century as the next pitch over for a strike, and it's 0-2. So he was one for three overall yesterday with an RBI. So Preston plates two more. We're now even at six, and the 0-2 pitch to Benavides is hit off the glove of the catcher. Now uh, Ezra stays alive. But it stays at no balls and two strikes. Hollingsworth with two hits, a couple of RBIs in the game today. Ties the game at six. Blackhawk looks back a couple of times, comes home to Benavides. Ground ball in the left field, base hit. As going to third as Hollingsworth, he will stay there. Runners at the corners and still only one out in the inning. And we go back to the top of the order, and Cade Oxborough will come up. He's the eighth man to hit here in the inning. Oxborough with an RBI on a scoring fly ball last inning for the Indians. I have that as his first RBI of the year, which I find a little bit strange as a Coach comes out to the mound to come out and talk to Blackhawk. Just, if anything, just to kind of slow him down and let him catch his breath here for a second. And as he does that, it gives us a chance to remind you 
that the polar bear is back and better than ever. The polar bear restaurant on Highway 91 at the south end of City of Preston. Stop in for lunch or maybe even after the game or on your way home from work this afternoon and grab some great dinner there at the Polar Bear in Preston. As the meeting continues, the home plate umpire starts to make that slow walk out toward the mound to kind of speed things up as he will now turn and head back toward the dugout. So here's the eighth batter in the inning here for the Indians as Kate Oxborough comes up, 0 for 1 officially today with an RBI. Runners at the corners and only one out. Four runs in the inning for the Indians. They've scored in each inning so far at least one run as the pitch to Oxborough misses outside, ball one. Four runs on six hits in the inning for the Indians. The next pitch swung on and missed. One ball and one strike on Oxborough. Cade 0 for 2 yesterday. Did walk and was also hit by a pitch in the game. Here comes the 1-1 one, one from, uh, from Blackhawk. As it's going to be rolled foul back toward the screen as Cade just did get a little piece of it. And hit it back toward the backstop, so it stays at a ball and two strikes. Six six tie here in the top of the third. The one two. Breaking ball missed outside again, evens the count at two balls and two strikes. Blackhawks 2-2 offering is outside again, ball three. So now he's a pitch away from loading the bases. As the count goes full with only one out. Blackhawk out of the stretch. The runners do not go as the pitch is on the inside corner. Strike three called as Oxborough goes down on strikes for the second out. Second strikeout for Blackhawk, and now here's Eli Hammonds, the ninth batter here in the inning for the Indians. Hammonds one for two so far today, doubled and scored and fouled out. As he popped up to the first baseman his last time up, and the first pitch is going to be rolled foul, and Shane Thompson <laughs> with, a, with kind of a half-hearted wave of the hand to try to knock that ball down and not able to. So 0 and 1, the count on Eli. Blackhawks 0 1 pitch to Hammonds. Breaking ball, swung on and missed. And it's no balls and two strikes. Hollingsworth at third. Benavides, actually a runner for Benavides, is over at that first base. And here comes the 0 2 pitch. Hit in the air, short left. Call comes up, has a play, puts the squeeze on it, and the inning is over as the Indians send a total of nine men to the plate in the innings. Four runs on six hits overall. No errors, and they leave two in the inning. So on the Flying S. Tylen Escrow scoreboard, we're even again. It's 6-6 as we go to the bottom of the third on KACH and on the My Local Radio Sports Network. K-A-C-H, mylocalradio.com. It's always refreshing to shop where you know you'll be appreciated. It's even better to know that you can get everything you need, quality parts at fair prices. The team at Preston Auto Parts CarQuest appreciates every customer. They work hard to make sure that you have the right part the first time, on time. Whether it's motorcycles, farm and ranch, lawn and garden, or car or truck parts, you can always get it all at Preston Auto Parts CarQuest. Stop in where you'll be treated like a friend. 17 South State Street, Preston. When you think of a medical center's vital signs, you think of a monitor beeping. Today, Franklin County Medical Center is sharing a new set of vital signs. They're the vital signs of a growing hospital. Our new medical office building is now home to the care you depend on. You'll visit us here for primary, specialty, and walk-in care. Franklin County Medical Center has been a vital part of the region's healthcare since 1929 right in your neighborhood. 
K-A-C-H, mylocalradio.com. So each team put up four run innings, and that evens the, actually I should say that Century scored five, I should say, in the last inning, in the bottom of the second. So we're tied at six as we go bottom three. First pitch to Arebe, hit on the ground. Thompson has it near the bag at second. He'll throw across in time for the out. One pitch, one out here in the bottom of inning number three. So Century, who sent 11 men to the plate last inning, as Gleed gets a first pitch ground out, and here's Ben Calls as uh, Gleed facing the bottom third of the order here in the bottom of the third inning. Call singled, stole a base, and scored a run, and hits that pitch in the air to short center. Up comes a Hobbs, and he's able to put the squeeze on that. So two pitches and two outs here in the inning for Austin Gleed. And now here is C.J. Short, who had a scoring fly ball his first time up. Today's game brought to you by Franklin County Medical Center with the finest care you'll find in all of the Cache Valley. First pitch to Short over for a strike, and it's 0-1. The 1 pitch on the way to CJ. Ground ball to third. Knocked down by Mendoza from his knees. Throws him out. What a play by Zabian Mendoza over at third as the Indians able to get the Diamondbacks in order. One, two, three here in the bottom of inning number three on a heck of a play by Xavier Mendoza who throws out C.J. Short from his knees over at third base. We're done with three. The Flying S title and escrow scoreboard says it's a 6-6 tie as we'll go to the fourth on the My Local Radio Sports Network. K-A-C-H, mylocalradio.com. When buying a vehicle, you want the process to be straightforward and the financing simple. At West Motor and West Motor Ford, that's exactly the way that you'll be treated. They also understand that accidents can happen and maintenance will be needed. When you find yourself in need of body and paint work, windshield repair, work under the hood, or under the vehicle, West Motor would love to help you out and earn your trust. Turn to West Motor and West Motor Ford in Preston and Hyde Park. WestMotorCompany.com we offer rebates on energy-saving products and equipment for our customers. For example, your home's heating and air conditioning system draws significant amount of electricity during certain times of the year. We offer cash back for heat pumps, which use energy-efficient technology to heat and cool your home. We also offer rebates on appliances and smart accessories like smart plugs and smart switches. Really, for anything that draws electricity in your home, we usually have some type of rebate to offer you. Visit WattSmartHomes.com today. K-A-C-H, MyLocalRadio.com. An outstanding play to end the third inning for the Indians as Xavier Mendoza able to smother that ball and throw, throw out the runner from his knees. And the Indians will start the fourth exactly the same place they did in the third after they sent nine men to the plate to score four times as it'll be Thompson, Gleed, and Mendoza due up. First pitch hit on the ground to the shortstop. Uribe has that. He'll throw across in time for the first out. You know, I was just thinking during the half-inning break that this game is really speed time of the game-wise. is nothing like the game did yesterday as... The game yesterday was exactly two hours. And this game, to the first game of the doubleheader, is going to be have a tough time to, to beat that. So here's Austin Gleed. Reached on a fielder's choice, singled, scored a run. And first ball swinging, pops up. There's the shortstop uh, rebate to wait for that. And that's two outs here in the inning. So with two down, here's Zabian Mendoza. Zabian, who took a called third strike, singled one of the four straight hits last inning for the Indians to start the top of the third. First ball swinging again here, hits a ground ball to short. Uribe is going to get all three chances, 
and throws out in Mendoza, 6-3 in Preston, just as Century did in the last half inning. They'll go out 1-2-3 as well. So the Indians go in order, and we'll go to the bottom of the fourth. 6-6 tie on the Flying S Thailand escrow scoreboard as we'll go to the bottom of the fourth inning on KACH and on the My Local Radio Sports Network. K-A-C-H, mylocalradio.com. Papa Jay's World Headquarters in Clifton, Idaho, started on the dream of a man who wanted to give back to his small town farming community. 20 years later, it's a place renowned for its gourmet beef jerky, deli, and uniquely friendly customer experience. The friendly staff at Papa Jay's invites you to come in or find them online at papajays.com, where you can have the unique taste of Papa Jay's beef jerky shipped to you all with a click of a button. Papa Jay's world-class jerky in small town USA. PapaJays.com. Discover your ultimate escape at Day Mountain Ranch. Come enjoy our upscale lodges, perfect for family reunions and corporate retreats. Unwind, bond, and make memories that last in one of our luxury cabins. Host your dream wedding on our secluded property, perfect with a captivating nature backdrop. Or join our gun club. Rent or bring your own firearms and master your skills in private classes or dynamic group sessions at our premier state-of-the-art private gun range up to 2,200 yards. Your outdoor adventure and retreat begins at Day Mountain Ranch, 77 South Spring Creek Road, Preston, Idaho. Reserve your spot now at dmrresort.com. Listen for Dan Hubbard and Preston Indian Sports on KACH. Make sure that you are down by the... Well, we'll go to the bottom of inning number four here. I don't mind you guys doing some practice runs. Everyone else As. is off the track. Uh, please Both teams go out in order, and the Diamondbacks will start from the top of the order here in the fourth, the bottom of the fourth inning. As Blackhawk first ball swing, he lines it to center, and it's going to fall in front of Hobbs in center field. And Blackhawk has his uh, second hit of the game. So he lines one to center on the first pitch that he sees, his second hit today. Hit number seven on the game for the uh, Diamondbacks. And now here is Dax Paulson. Your coaches have set you Paulson walked, grounded out, 0 for 1 officially on the day. Uh, on the ground. There goes the runner. The pitch swung on and missed, and the throw is going to be not in time. So Blackhawks steal second base. And field, unless you have the 2,400 runners or the 110 or the 100 hurlers. 0-1 on Paulson as Blackhawk moves into scoring position. Poised to try to break the 6-6 tie as we play here in the bottom of the fourth. Little bunt out in front of home plate. It's a good one. Benavidez down to get it. Throws the first in time for the out. The sacrifice works, and Blackhawk now finds himself standing at third with one out. So the 2-3 put out on the sacrifice bunt. Sends Blackhawk to third, and now here is Gavin Flynn. Flynn singled in a pair of runs back in the second inning today. As a first pitch over for a strike from Gleed. The 0 1 pitch, fastball again on the corner for a strike, and it's 0 and 2. Flynn with two hits yesterday. Drove in a couple of runs. So he has four RBIs against the, the Indians in a game and a half. Now he's going to have another one as he lines that one to center field. So back to back two hit games for, for Gavin Flynn as he singles to pick up his third RBI of the day. As Blackhawk comes in to score, breaks the tie, and it's now 7-6 with the Diamondbacks back on top here as we play in the bottom of of the fourth. There goes the runner, and the ball hit foul down along the third base line. So it's pretty evident that the Diamondbacks, like the other teams that uh, Preston has played so far, have very little respect for the 
for the throwing arms of the Preston catchers as they run at every opportunity as they go to first base and, and Flynn back to the bag. Jackson Zaccardi at the plate, RBI single, and was hit by a pitch, so he's one for one today. Pitch home, misses inside, up and in, and it's uh, one ball and one strike. So Zaccardi, one for four in the series. There goes the runner, and the ball's going to be hit to center. Hobbs over, waiting, makes the catch as retreating back to the bag is Flynn as that's the second out. So two outs, and now here is the catcher, Jack Maddox, who was hit by a pitch with the bases loaded his last time up to force over a run. He, too, is one for one officially in the game. So Maddox will hit from the left side as Gleed goes to first base. And back to the bag over there again is uh, the base runner, Flynn. All right, Next I pitch apologize. again Just is up high, up code, and it's uh, one ball and no strikes. Jump today. Not boys. Boys will be tomorrow. Girls high jump six out the main. Uh, we're going to be started here shortly. One and oh. Again, the, the microphone you hear uh, in the background is the PA uh, announcer at the track meet going on discussion. the football stadium out beyond uh, right field. As the one and oh pitch is up high, ball two. He is he is quite loud over there. So two balls and no strikes here on on Jack Maddox with two outs. They go to first base and again Flynn back in on his hands and knees. 7-6 century leads as they push across to run here in the bottom of the fourth. First game of the doubleheader. The next pitch home is swung on and missed as it goes to 2-1. and one. Nice pitch from Gleed. Kind of turned it over and ran it away from from uh, Maddox. The 2-1 pitch on the inside corner for a strike, and it's 2-2. Two and two. So the count now full, three balls and two strikes, which means Flynn's going to get a head start over there at first base with two outs. And the 3-2 pitch on the way popped up right side of the infield. It's Hammonds right on the edge of the grass to put the squeeze on it and make the catch for out number three. However... Century pushes across a run to retake the lead. Run one, one run on a pair of hits here in the inning. And there was one man left. We're done with four. We'll head to the fifth. The, the Flying S Thailand escrow scoreboard says it's 7-6 Century through four innings here this afternoon on the My Local Radio Sports Network. K-A-C-H, mylocalradio.com. Webb Funeral Home is proud to be the leading provider of funeral services in Northern Cache Valley, including Southeast Idaho, for almost 100 years. We are a full service mortuary offering the highest quality services with very affordable pricing. We have plans to meet everyone's budget from traditional funeral services to graveside services and cremation options. We gladly provide free insurance coverage review, quality headstones and monuments, as well as funeral transcriptions. Let us answer any questions you might have by calling us at 208-852-0533. Webb Funeral Home, a trusted name in funeral service since 1925. When you are looking for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, but you want something that is ready to eat now, always stop at the Stokes Market Deli in Preston. With cold and hot cases, you can always find food that is fresh, hot, or cold. Sandwiches, soup, salads, deviled eggs, donuts, wraps, cheese trays, desserts, and a hot and delicious buffet. A meal out doesn't have to be at a restaurant. Come and enjoy something for everyone at the Stokes Market Deli today. 217 South State Street in Preston. K-A-C-H, mylocalradio.com. So as we go to the fifth inning, seven runs on eight hits for the Diamondbacks, six runs, nine hits for the Indians. Neither team has committed an error. And here in the top of inning number five, Clayton Hobbs, Jackson Merrill, and Jansen Hollingsworth do up here for the Indians. As the first pitch misses outside, ball one. Down in the bullpen for... 
the uh, Diamondbacks get a little action as Cooper Snyder starting to play a little catch down there as he starts to throw behind Blackhawk as the 1-0 pitch misses high and away. Ball two, two balls and no strikes. Blackhawk ready again. The next pitch home is high again. So he falls behind three balls and no strikes against the leadoff man, Clayton Hobbs, who is one for two so far on the day. The 3-0 offering is on the corner for a strike, and it's 3-1. and one. Outfield pretty much straight away for Hobbs. Paulson, the center fielder, a few steps over into right center field. And here comes the 3-1 pitch. That's on the outside corner. Hobbs got ready to throw the bat away, but it runs account full, 3-2 and two on the called strike. The red bat on the track. The entrance is Here's the 3-2 pitch. It foul off the first base side. Curtis coming over to have a look, but he's going to run out of room. So eighth grade girls, please check in for high jump. So it stays three and two on Clayton Hobbs as he climbs back in from the that's left that's side. That's and again, sure the three two pitch on the way. Please go check in. That's pulled foul outside uh, of first this time down two. toward the century bullpen area. And again, the count stays at three and two. So another 3-2 pitch coming up here to Hobbs. And the pitch is going to be hit in the air to short left field. Call comes over a few steps, now comes in a few as well, and makes the catch for the first out. Today's game brought to you by Butterfly Express Essential Oils. Use the code KCH10 for 10% off all regularly priced items when you shop. So remember, you can also shop online at butterflyexpress.shop. Here's Jackson Merrill as he swings and misses at the first pitch. Merrill, 0 for 1 today, was hit by a pitch and scored back in the second. He's also struck out as the next pitch breaking ball over again, and it's 0-2 as Preston gets a little bit of action started down in their bullpen now as well. As the next pitch to Merrill's a ground ball to the right side, and it's going to be through into right field for a hit. Come over to me. I'm in the Merrill with his first hit of the game, a one-out single here in the fifth. Finish line. I keep saying end zone. It's right there. I keep looking at it. All right, to the finish line. So Jackson Merrill able to pick up a hit as he's now hit in uh, three straight games. Check that four straight games for Merrill as he had two hits yesterday as well. All 2400. All 2400. So one out, one on. Here's Hollingsworth, he takes the first pitch outside ball one. You wonder how much longer they're gonna let Blackhawk go. He does have a one run lead, but there's action behind him and the potential tying run is out there on base with one out. There goes the runner, the pitch low, bounces away from the catcher, Merrill goes to second and he'll stay there. It'll be a stolen base as he was running on the pitch anyway. So stolen base for Merrill. And the count goes to two balls and no strikes on Hollingsworth, who has two hits today, pair of singles, and he's driven in a pair of runs. He had two hits yesterday as well. As that pitch misses down low. Three balls and no strikes. So Merrill's now hit in four straight games for the Indians. With two hit games yesterday and already here today. The 3 0 pitch is right down Broadway for a strike, and it goes to 3 and 1. The action in the Preston bullpen has stopped. So I don't know if whoever's down there is ready to come in or not. The 3 1 pitch. He is over for a called strike and runs the count full three and two. So Merrill at second base. Jansen Hollingsworth climbs back in. Here comes the three two pitch with one out as it's gonna be chopped down foul off the plate. And it's gonna stay at three and two. (laughs) 
So Blackhawk battles three and two with one out. And again, the three two pitch to Hollingsworth. Taking outside ball four. Boy, that's a close pitch as Hollingsworth draws a walk and he's on base for the third time today. That's the second walk for Blackhawk in the game. Runners at first and second, and the number nine hitter, Ezra uh, Benavides, will now come up. Benavides has walked, singled, one for one officially, and the first pitch from Blackhawk is up high. Ball one, one ball and no strikes. Coaching staff for the Diamondbacks kind of stand outside the dugout, arms crossed. Trying to get through the inning as the pitch again misses high and away. Ball two, two balls and no strikes. Coach Blackhawk for the head coach for the Century Baseball team goes over to say something to one of the assistant coaches as the 2-0 pitch misses outside. Ball three, three and 3-0. Hobbs let off the inning by flying out to left. Single by Merrill, Hollingsworth walked. Runners at first and second is where we are here. And a 3-0 count to Benavides, who turns on one, hits it in the air to left. Call's got to go back, still going back, makes the catch. Tagging and going to third is Merrill, and he's in there with a dive. Great catch by Call in left field. Had to go back on it, but he was able to get there to make the play for the second out. Merrill tags and goes to third, so runners at the corners in two outs, and we go back to the top of the order, and Cade Oxborough will come up. Today's game brought to you by Papa Jay's Deli and Jerky in Clifton. Remember, you can order their world-class jerky online at papajays.com. Here's Oxborough. First pitch to Cade, fastball for a strike. Oxborough 0 for 2 officially. Grounded out, struck out, and he had a scoring fly ball, but he, he has driven in a run today. Now the 0-1, they bluffed, and they got the runner picked off. They're going to throw to second, and it's going to be late. And now coming home is Merrill. He will score to tie the game. The throw gets away, and going down to third is Hollingsworth. So it's a stolen base for Hollingsworth. Merrill comes home on the throw to second base. And then Merrill, and the throw got away at home, will go to go to third. Boys 110 hurdles as to the start line. That should be the first error of the game. that allows Merrill to go to third. So Oxborough down in the count, 0-2, hits a ground ball to second, short has it, flips it across in time for the out as Oxborough grounds out as he is 0-3 in the game. But Preston gets a run in the inning to get even. One run, one hit, a walk, and they leave a man over at third base. There was also an error in the inning charged against the uh, against the Century Diamondbacks. Four and a half innings in the books on the Flying S. Tylen Escrow scoreboard. It's now a 7-7 tie on KACH and on the My Local Radio Sports Network. KACH, mylocalradio.com. It's the goal in everyone's life to reach financial independence and security. Evergreen Financial Partners in Preston can help with strategies to assist in those goals. They will design a plan to suit you, whether it be for your family, home, or current or future investments. Evergreen Financial Partners can help with life insurance, long-term life, 401ks, retirement plans, or mutual funds. Contact the experts at Evergreen Financial and let them put a plan together for you. Find them at 41 West 1st South in Preston or go online to set your appointment at evergreenfinancialpartners.net. Evergreen Financial Partners, your first step to financial security. 
We all have those times in life where having insurance has been a great comfort in helping to make a bad situation better. Naylor Insurance takes pride in being that friend there to help you when you need it the most. Serving the community since 1978, Naylor Insurance is proud to represent a number of carriers to fit your insurance needs. Stop by our new location, 223 North State Street in Preston. K-A-C-H, mylocalradio.com. Well, the game tied again. We go to work here in the bottom of the fifth. It's a 7-7 tie. Hiram Curtis, uh, Aribe, and Call all do up for Century here in the bottom of the fifth. First pitch over for a strike. The next pitch is swung on and rolled foul. And just that quick, Hiram Curtis finds himself in the hole 0-2. This half inning brought to you by Preston Auto Parts Car Quest. They have all the parts you need to keep your car or truck running strong. 17 South State Street in Preston. Stop in where you'll be treated like a friend. The 0-2 pitch again hit foul by Curtis, and it stays at 0-2. So the Indians able to push across a run. Thanks to Century playing a little fast and loose with the baseball in the top of the inning. The 0-2 pitch. He takes something off of it, a little roller out in front of the plate, lead down to get it. He'll throw to first in time for the out. So almost almost what looked like an Ephus pitch as Curtis hit it off the end of the bat and just rolled it back out in front of home plate, and there's one out, and that'll bring up the shortstop Uribe. He's lined out and grounded out today, 0 for 2 here in the first game as the pitch is over for a strike. And it's 0-1. Shouldn't be any problem getting the doubleheader in today. As we have, of course, there's lights here at Hollowell Park. The 0-1 missed outside. So there shouldn't be any problems at all getting, getting both games in completely. 1-1 one, one pitch from Glebe. Again, kind of took something off it. And the pitch is swung on and missed, and it's 1-2. One two pitch to a rebate, popped up. First base side, looks like it's not going to be held by the ballpark. It bounces up into the, the stands on the first base side, which are actually closed off as they're doing some repair work over there. Looks like they're, they're framing in and getting ready to pour some new concrete and replace some seats. So anybody who would be sitting and rooting for Century is sitting down the right field line on lawn chairs out in the grass. The one-two pitch. Again, rolled foul. Zuribe just does get a piece of it and hit it back toward the screen. Seven-seven tie. As this game about an hour and 20 minutes old as we're playing here in the top of the fifth. Pitch missed outside. The 2-2 offering. That's on the corner. Strike three called. So Ribe goes down on strikes. That's the second out. And that'll bring up Ben Call. And believe it or not, that's just the first strikeout for Austin Gleed here in the game. It comes with two outs in the bottom of the fifth. As here's Call who singled and scored a run and flew out. He's one for two and takes a first pitch breaking ball outside, ball one. One ball and no strikes. The 1-0 pitch, fastball this time is over for a strike and it's one and one. Two outs, bottom of the fifth, 7-7 seven, seven tie. The 1-1 pitch is over this time. Good pitch by, by Gleed and it's now one and two. Austin ready again. Here comes the one-two pitch. Comes back fastball, misses down and away. He's upset with himself for missing that pitch. Thought he had thought he had a call set up for a pitch, but he missed it. Didn't get the pitch located where he wanted. The next pitch, the two-two pitch is rolled up the middle. Thompson has a bounce off his chest, and it's going to be an infield hit. Thompson ranged back near the bag at second base. But it uh, bounced, that second bounce just kind of hits and explodes off the dirt. And he played it off his chest, but it's, uh, everyone's going to be safe. So there's two outs and a man at first base. 
And now here is C.J. Short, the number nine hitter, as they go back to first base. Short last time up was out on that great defensive play at third base by, by Zabian Mendoza, who went to his left, smothered the ball from his knees right at the cut of the grass, threw a crossed in time for the out. As the runner goes, ground ball to the right side as it's uh, Hammonds who can't come up with it. It'll be a one-out single. Check that two-out single with a man on as Short has his first hit of the day and runners at first and second and two outs. And we go back to the top of the order and Eli Blackhawk will come back up. So a big spot here for Blackhawk, who's still the pitcher of record. If he can drive in the run, if they do decide to replace him here, as the work in the bullpen has, has, uh, has ceased, if he can drive in the run, he would leave with the lead as the first pitch from Glead misses down low, ball one. Today's game brought to you by Ralph's Construction. Building homes in the Blue Sage Park area of Preston. Call for more information at 435-232-1837. As the next pitch goes to the backstop, and both runners are going to move up. So the wild pitch will send call to second and short to third. And it's two balls and no strikes on Eli Blackhawk as the pitch home is over for a strike. Taking all the way on the inside half. And it's two and one. The two one pitch is lined into right field, base hit. That's gonna get one in. They're gonna send the other runner home as Oxborough can't handle the cutoff throw cleanly. And it's two runs in on the third hit of the game by Eli Blackhawk. And that makes it 9-7 as the Diamondbacks move back out in front. Two runs on three hits in the inning. Blackhawk at first, they go to first base and Eli back in on his hands and knees. So Gleed got the first two outs and then back then three hits in a row produced two runs. As that next pitch is hit foul, that's gonna head out toward the parking lot by Dax uh, Paulson. And it's no, ball, no, no balls in one strike. Paulson 0 for 1 officially. He's walked, had a sacrifice bunt his last time up and grounded out to third earlier as well back in the first inning. Comes the 0-1. Yeah, a breaking ball that slips out of the hand of Austin Gleed, and it's one ball and one strike. As the wind was fairly calm for a couple of innings, and it's starting to pick up a little bit again. Blowing across the infield from the left field side to the right field side, as again they go back to first base. One ball, one strike, Gleed sets at the belt. Comes home with a pitch that's outside, and it's two and one. So nine, seven, as Century has put up another couple of runs here in the inning. There's only one inning today that as Blackhawk goes, the pitch is swung on and missed, and the throw through will be late, and Blackhawk steals another base. His second stolen base of the day. So the count goes to two and two here on Paulson in the two two offering. Misses outside and low. There goes Blackhawk for third. Now the throw goes in the left field as he had stopped and was going to head back home as he's going to come in on the two base throwing error and it's 10 to seven. Girls so Blackhawk literally steals a run. Officially, it's an error on the catcher. Blackhawk had stopped and was going back toward second base. As here comes the 3-2 pitch to Paulson, popped up. And that's going to come right down here. As, as that uh, hits right up here next to me and, and uh, bounces away. You know, in... In six years, that's the first ball that's landed up here on our little broadcast deck. 
as the count stays at three and two. The three two pitch on the way, again hit foul, back behind home plate. So three runs in the inning here for the Diamondbacks. Makes it 10-7, ground ball as Mendoza can't get that one. A little ground ball wide of third. So Paulson has his first hit of the game. That's four straight hits for the Diamondbacks as they have three runs home here in the inning. As Paulson keeps the inning going with two outs and a runner at first base, here's Gavin Flynn. Flynn with two of the ten of the twelve hits in the game here for the Diamondbacks. Once again, I need the four by two relays to the end zone and starting line on the field. So Paulson over at first, sure that you do and the cross. pitch to Flynn yeah, is a strike, line. and it's 0-1. Would kindly make sure you come straight over from the south Flynn gate entrance. with two hits. He has multi-hit games in both games of the series. And five RBIs total, three of them today. As that pitch again misses outside from uh, from Gleed, and it's a ball and a strike. Two outs, four hits in a row, have produced three runs in the inning here for the Diamondbacks. And they line that one into left field. That'll be a base hit as Thompson was shaded up the middle. Going the third is Paulson and will be in there with a dive. Flynn with his third hit of the game. Paulson goes all the way to third base. And now here is uh, Jackson Zaccardi. So that's five hits in a row here in the inning. Paulson down the line from third, and the first pitch from Gleed is hit foul. Back behind home plate, heads out toward the parking lot. Today's game brought to you by Stokes Market, True Value. With their fresh its meat and produce, you'll find not only in Preston, but throughout the Cache Valley, Stokes Market on State Street in Preston. Owen won the count. As Zaccardi singled back in the first inning, and since then he's been hit by a pitch and flew out to center. The 0-1 is sliced along the right field line. Here comes Hollingsworth over to make the catch, diving over toward the line, and the inning finally comes to an end. But uh, Gleed got the first two outs in the inning and then gave up five straight hits. They score a total of three runs on five hits. There was an error and two men left. We're done with five as we'll go to the sixth as it's now Century 10, Preston 7 on the Flying S scoreboard. We'll uh, go, to the, go to the sixth when we come back here on KCH and on the My Local Radio Sports Network. KACH, MyLocalRadio.com. Ready has provided safety and excellence in industrial construction and support services since 1982. From insulation and scaffolding to paintings and coatings, our crews are standing by to assist with new construction, maintenance projects, facility shutdowns, and more. Contact us today to ensure your assets are protected and functional. Interested in joining our team? Visit ReadyUSA.com. We are ready. Folks have many reasons to visit Casper, Wyoming every year, whether it's work, high school sports and activity, a romantic getaway, or business meetings. The best place to stay when you're in Casper is the Come On In Hotel and Suites. A beautiful log hotel offers five hot tubs, a pool, fitness center, and a fabulous indoor atrium. You can also reserve meeting rooms for your next event, and each stay includes an extended continental breakfast. Reserve your rooms today at the Come On In Hotel and Suites in Casper, Wyoming. Call 307-472-6300. Listen for Dan Hubbard and Preston Indian Sports on KACH. Well, we're through five innings, and it certainly has been an exciting game so far. A lot of action going on as we go here to the sixth. And here in the uh, sixth inning for the Diamondbacks, it'll be Eli Hammonds, uh, Connor Thompson, and then Austin Gleed due up. 
Ten runs on 13 hits for the Diamondbacks. Seven runs on 10 hits for the Indians. So Preston now all of a sudden trailing by three runs again. And all of a sudden they, uh, they need to get some men on and get uh, bring some people to the plate and score some more runs to try to get even as they trail by three here in the top of the uh, top of the sixth. So here's Hammonds, one for three, as he has doubled and scored, but that came way back in the first inning as the first pitch to Eli misses outside, ball one. One ball and no strikes. So a pitching change here is the new pitcher is Cooper Snyder who comes in, who was throwing down in the bullpen a little earlier as this ball popped up on the left side of the infield. It'll be the third baseman, Curtis, to make the play as Hammonds pops up. So one out, now here's Connor Thompson. Thompson with a pair of hits. He is two for three, scored a run. As Cooper Snyder, the right-hander on in relief of Eli Blackhawk, who went five innings today, gave up 10 hits and seven runs. Walk two and We'll get you a strikeout count here in just a second as the first pitch to Thompson missed, uh, missed upstairs, ball one. Here's the 1-0. <clears throat> That's over. That's one ball and one strike. Blackhawk struck out three in the game, but he leaves with a lead and is the pitcher of record as he turns it over to Cooper Snyder as the, oh, the one, one pitch hit foul, and it's one and two. So one and two on Thompson with one out here in the sixth. Just the first game of the doubleheader, so sit back and relax. We still have a lot of baseball yet to come. Yes, yeah, this ball grounded foul again outside of third. Today's game brought to you by Bailey Beckstead Real Estate Group. So one and two the count on Thompson. Snyder again, working out of the stretch, comes home, breaking ball. He kind of hangs it, and Thompson hits it in the air to, to short left field as Call comes in again and makes the catch for the out. So two up, two down here in the sixth, and now here is Austin Gleed. Gleed one for three, scored a run, driven in one as, as well. Gleed steps into the right-hander's box, and the first pitch is lined up the middle, base hit. So Austin trying to start something like he had to go up against him in the last half inning as he got the first two outs fairly easily. And then the Diamondbacks had the next five guys all reach. They produced three runs. So here's Xavier Mendoza, who's one for three. He singled, struck out, and grounded out. Relay for the first and third leg. Please stay at the starting line for the relay. Snyder works out of the stretch, comes home to Mendoza, breaking ball, misses inside, ball one. And it's one ball and no strikes. Right fielder Flynn certainly playing shallower than the two other outfielders as they play more of a normal depth in left and right as the next pitch is a breaking ball that misses again, ball two, and it's 2-0. Two and oh. Ten seven century leads. Shows you how strange baseball can be sometimes. Seven runs was good enough to win yesterday for the Indians, but not today so far. They're trailing by three as Mendoza hits in the air to center. Here comes Paulson over. He's there, makes the catch, and the Indians are gone here in the sixth. No runs, no uh, one hit, and one man left for Preston. We'll go to the bottom of the sixth. It's 10-7 on the Flying S Tylen escrow scoreboard as we'll go to the bottom of the sixth inning on the My Local Radio Sports Network. K-A-C-H, mylocalradio.com. 
In 1996, my father, Jay Moyle, started producing gourmet beef jerky in the foothills of Clifton, Idaho. Now, over 20 years later, Papa Jay's beef jerky is a staple of the Franklin County community. Family run since the beginning, the modern way of making jerky here at Papa Jay's is the old-fashioned way. Absolutely no shortcuts are taken in producing the finest quality and most delicious smoked meat you can find. Come over to Papa Jay's and bite into a tender, flavorful stick of Papa Jay's, and your view of jerky will never be the same. 10 South Main High. Highway, Clifton, Idaho. North Star's Ultimate Outdoors is the best provider of power sport vehicles right here in downtown Preston. Vehicles and equipment from brand names that you know and trust, like Steel, Polaris, and Yamaha. Stop in and let us get you ready for your next adventure at North Star's Ultimate Outdoors. It's where the fun starts, 777 North State Street, Preston. K-A-C-H, mylocalradio.com. Well, as we go here to the bottom of inning number six, a couple of changes here for the Indians. Xavier Mendoza is going to come in and pick up here on the mound as we we'll try to catch the other changes in the infield as it looks like Thompson will stay at shortstop. Glee's going to go in and play, play second base as Hammonds moves over to third. So Mendoza will come in and pitch here. And he will work to Maddox, Curtis, and Uribe here in the bottom of inning number six here as Preston trails by three runs. As Mendoza picks up for Austin Gleed who went five innings of his own. He put a total of 13 hits in the game and 10 runs. He walked two and struck out only one in the game today. And he leads trailing so he can, he'll stand to be the losing pitcher in the game or have nothing to do with it if Preston can get the bats to wake back up in the top of the seventh inning and get even. As here is Jack Maddox. And the first pitch is swung on and missed, and it's 0-1. Uh, the 0-1 the zone. pitch swung on and missed as he swings through the big breaking pitch, Sorry, uh, and uh, it's 0-2. So no balls and two strikes. And the 0-2 pitch for Mendoza. Ran it away from him, and he swings right through it and strikes out. So Mendoza gets Maddox to strike out. On three pitches pick, for the first relays. out. Four by two relays. That's just the second century batter to go down on strikes here today. And that'll bring up the third baseman, Hiram Curtis, who's doubled and grounded out twice. As the first pitch, big breaking ball is up high, ball one. One ball and no strikes. If you're looking ahead to the seventh inning for the Indians, It'll be Hobbs, Merrill, and Hollingsworth due up. And they're, they need three already just to get even as the pitch misses inside, down and in. And it's ball two, two balls and no strikes. Today's game brought to you by Webb Funeral Home, serving Preston and the surrounding community since 1925. 2-0 pitch here for Mendoza, swung on and fouled at home plate. So two balls and a strike. Two one pitch to to Hiram is hit in the foul ground, coming over as Hammonds and in foul ground makes the catch. So Curtis fouls out for the second out, and then with two outs here comes Uribe, who's 0 for three today. Uribe's lined out, grounded out, and struck out. 
and he would be one for seven in the series and gets hit by a pitch. So the first pitch hits him as he heads down to first base. So two outs, man on, and here he is, here is Ben Call. Call two for three with an RBI as he lines that one into left field. Base hit, got it just past Hammonds. That's his third hit of the day as he'll get it back in as Call with three singles in the game. He has three hits, as does Eli Blackhawk have three hits today as well. So two on, two out, and now here is C.J. Short. Short picked up his first hit of the series, his last time up, as he is one for two today, plus a sacrifice as the first pitch misses outside, ball one, and it's one ball and no strikes. Runners at first and second, two out here in the inning. Press needs to slam the door and get out of it right here. Ground ball to Short. Thompson looks it into his glove. He'll go the short way, get the force out at second base, and the inning is over as Call is out on the force out. 6-4. So we'll go to the seventh. Preston needs three runs to get even, four to take a lead. As through six innings today on the Flying S title and, and escrow scoreboard, it's Century 10, Preston 7 as we'll go to the seventh on KACH and on the My Local Radio Sports Network. KACH, MyLocalRadio.com. 105.5 FM KACH. I'm Dan Keller, Mayor of Preston, and we are Preston Proud and Idaho Strong. Hi, I'm Jay Butters with Alta Bank, and we are Preston Proud, Idaho Strong. Hi, this is Lyle Fuller with the Fuller and Fuller Law Firm, and we are Preston Proud and Idaho Strong. Hi, I'm Larry Morrison with Evergreen Financial Partners. We are Preston Proud and Idaho Strong. 105.5 KACH. We're Preston Proud, Idaho Strong, serving Franklin County and beyond. The greatest of life's moments can pass in the blink of an eye. Make sure you enjoy them with clear vision. The optometrists at Eye Care for You have been serving patients in Cache Valley and Preston for 43 years. As a full service optical store, you'll find glasses, contacts, and professional eye health and vision exams. Doctors Philip Cromwell, Jeff Cromwell, and Lance Henderson are committed to providing you with professional care for your vision. Call today to schedule an appointment in Preston or Logan. I Care for You, not just a name, but a commitment. K-A-C-H, MyLocalRadio.com. All right, we've reached the top of the seventh inning. And for the Indians, who need three runs in the inning to get even here, they will send up Clayton Hobbs, Jackson Merrill, and then Jansen Hollingsworth to get their licks. Here against Cooper Snyder on in his second inning of relief of Eli Blackhawk, who stands to be the winning pitcher. 10-7 as Hobbs steps in, and the first pitch to Clayton is outside ball one of the breaking ball, one ball with no strikes. Outfield swung around toward right field just a little bit. Big gap in left center field. Hobbs tries to go that way and comes up empty, and it's one ball and one strike. Hobbs climbs back in again, hitting from the left side. The next pitch is high. Ball two, two balls and a strike. Today's game brought to you by Evergreen Financial Services. When planning your future, trust the experts at Evergreen in Preston. Set your appointment at evergreenfinancialpartners.net. And remember, they now have a, an office here in Pocatello as well. The 2-1 pitch is up high. Ball three, three balls and a strike. Preston needs base runners as they need to get at least three runs to at least push the game to the bottom of the seventh inning. So far, it started out pretty good. Clayton Hobbs ahead in the count, 3-0, as that pitch is up high, and Hobbs will walk. So the leadoff man the board is Clayton walks. A 
That's the second walk given up by Snyder in the game. And here is Jackson Merrill hitting from the right side and takes the first pitch low, ball one. One ball and no strikes. Merrill today with one hit. He's also hit by a pitch. He's scored a couple of times as the pitch is hit foul off the umpire's mask, and it's one ball and one strike. The umpire taking a little moment just to make sure to check out the Check out the mask and make sure everything's still where it needs to be. <laughs> that mask is in one piece. Boy, you got to trust those things completely. Ball and a strike to count on Merrill. As the next pitch is rolled up along third, it'll be a fair ball. Played there by Curtis. Plays it across the infield in time for the out. So Jackson Merrill grounds out 5-3 for the first out as Hobbs goes to second. And now here is Jansen Hollingsworth. Hollingsworth's been on base all three times today. Has a pair of singles, drove in a couple of runs back in the third, and walked his last time up and got as far as third base. In fact, in each time, he's gotten as far as third base and has not been able to come across. If they would get get Hollingsworth in as he takes that first pitch inside and hits him. So Hollingsworth is on base for the fourth time today as he's hit by a pitch. That brings up Ezra Benavidez. Anyways, if Preston could have gotten Hollingsworth uh, in each time he reached third base, well, there would be the three runs they need to get even. Maybe even 10-10, but as it stands, they're still down 10-7. So here is Benavides and takes the first pitch. Just the freshman catcher, and it's 0-1. Benavides with one hit yesterday, has walked and singled today, plus he's flown out, so he's one for two. He represents the tying run at the plate and takes the fastball over for a strike, and it's 0-2. Cade Oxborough waiting on deck. The 0-2 pitch. Fastball on the corner, strike three called. So Benavides looks at three pitches, goes down on strikes for the second out. Just the fourth Indian to strike out today. Now let's go back to the top of the order, and Cade Oxborough will come up representing the tying run. Oxborough certainly a hungry hitter right here. He's 0-3 today as he takes the breaking ball high, ball one. One ball and no strikes for Ox, who's still looking for his first hit of the series, was 0 for 2 yesterday with a walk and a hit batter, and hits uh, this ball in the air to short left center field. Up, come, uh, up on the ball comes Call, and he's there and makes the catch as the Indians go out here in the top of the seventh inning as Century breaks the five-game losing streak that they had as they pick up the 10-7 win here over the Indians. No runs, no hits, no errors, and two left here in the top of the seventh. We'll take a timeout. We'll come back. We'll have the final totals for you coming up right after this. Final score in game one of the doubleheader on the Flying S title and escrow scoreboard. Century wins it 10-7. We'll be right back. K-A-C-H, mylocalradio.com. Looking for unique ideas to promote your business? How about something for that special gift? Celebration, team sport, vacation, or family outing? DeMarie's Vinyl Designs can design and produce items for any occasion, male or female, with the highest quality merchandise and procedures that will not fade, peel, or wear out. Check out her store on Etsy at etsy.com slash shop slash DeMarie's Vinyl Designs. If you haven't been to Woodward's Country Store lately, you are missing out. As proud supporters of Westside and Preston High School Athletics, we're here to fuel your day and support our wonderful community. Fill up your tank, grab a delicious sandwich, and get everything you need for life's little adventures. Woodward's Country Store, where convenience meets quality and community spirit. K-A-C-H, mylocalradio.com. 
K-A-C-H, mylocalradio.com. At Farm Bureau Insurance, the Smith Agency, we aren't just protecting things with walls and wheels. We're protecting people because everything and everyone that is important to you is important to us. This is Brittany and Braden Smith, your local Farm Bureau agents, celebrating another wonderful year here in Franklin County as your trusted insurance advisors. Whether it's home, auto, life, commercial, or farm insurance, we are here for you. Give us a call at 208-852-2364 or just stop by our office at 33 South First East in Preston to see how we can make insurance simple for you. When it comes to all things electrical, Sean Carter and the guys at s and Electrical should always be your go-to crew. With experience in everything from new construction to repairs, service and new installations, s and Electrical is professional and friendly in all they do. Your electrical work will be done right. Call s and Electric today at 208-852-5878. This is Sean Carter with s and Electric. It's what we do. K-A-C-H, mylocalradio.com. Well, the Diamondbacks claim the first game of the doubleheader, winning it by the final score of 10-7. to <clears throat> uh, The final totals for the first game of the doubleheader. Century, 10 runs on 14 hits. They had an error, and they left nine men on base. Preston, seven runs on 11 hits. They also had an error, and they also left nine men on base. Eli, Eli Blackhawk goes five, be able to pick up the victory here this afternoon as Austin Gleed also went five innings. He gave up seven runs on 10 hits and he will be the loser in the game, the first game of the doubleheader that took one hour and 55 minutes to play. So we're gonna send you back to the studio here for a little bit. John will have some music for you as we'll be back here in no, 20, 25 minutes and get you ready for game two of the doubleheader coming up from here at Century, uh, against the Century Diamondbacks here at Hollowell Field here in Pocatello. So we'll take a short time out. When we come back, John will have music for you back in the studio here on the My Local Radio Sports Network and on KACH. We'll be right back right after this. KACH, mylocalradio.com. Hi, I'm Brad Phillips, professional trainer and owner of Puppy Steps Training. I believe that life is more enjoyable with a well-trained dog. That's why my team and I have come together to give you the ultimate dog training experience through Puppy Steps Training. Our eight-week board and train program is specifically designed to give your puppy a head start on life. Along with access to our extensive training material, you will receive daily progress reports, weekly photo and video updates, and a hands-on training demonstration. Discover the ultimate dog training experience with Puppy Steps Training, the premier dog training facility in Northern Utah, and proud supporter of Westside and Preston High School Athletics. Webb Funeral Home is proud to be the leading provider of funeral services in Northern Cache Valley, including Southeast Idaho, for almost 100 years. We are a full service mortuary offering the highest quality services with very affordable pricing. We have plans to meet everyone's budget from traditional funeral services to graveside services and cremation options. We gladly provide free insurance coverage review, quality headstones and monuments, as well as funeral transcriptions. Let us answer any questions you might have by calling us at 208-852-0533. Webb Funeral Home, a trusted name in funeral service since 1925. Protecting buyers and lenders in Cache Valley for over 40 years, Northern Title is the trusted name in the tri-state areas of Idaho, Utah, and Wyoming. The staff at Northern Title and Preston protect you from unknown complications like access issues, unpaid taxes, hidden liens, or easement restrictions. Choose the right title company. Choose to close with Northern Title of Preston. Good deeds done daily. Call today at 208-852-5700. K-A-C-H, mylocalradio.com.
K-A-C-H, mylocalradio.com. Hey, Preston. Looking for a cool spot to chill and grab some awesome food? Head to the Hangout at 23 South State Street. We're not just a restaurant. We're your go-to spot to hang with your family and friends. Pool tables, games, great vibes, and the same amazing pizza you loved from The Slice. Swing by the Hangout today. Ready has provided safety and excellence in industrial construction and support services since 1982. From insulation and scaffolding to paintings and coatings, our crews are standing by to assist with new construction, maintenance projects, facility shutdowns, and more. Contact us today to ensure your assets are protected and functional. Interested in joining our team? Visit ReadyUSA.com. We are ready. At Farm Bureau Insurance, the Smith Agency, we aren't just protecting things with walls and wheels. We're protecting people because everything and everyone that is important to you is important to us. This is Brittany and Braden Smith, your local Farm Bureau agents, celebrating another wonderful year here in Franklin County as your trusted insurance advisors. Whether it's home, auto, life, commercial, or farm insurance, we are here for you. Give us a call at 208-852-2364 or just stop by our office at 33 South First East in Preston to see how we can make insurance simple for you. K-A-C-H, mylocalradio.com. And welcome back to the pregame show as Preston and Century square off in a doubleheader today here in Pocatello. But there are quite a few other games going on around the area, so let's look at our out-of-town schedule brought to you by Naylor Insurance. For home health, life, and auto, stop by and find out how much you can save at Naylor Insurance at 223 North State Street in Preston. Other games today include Shelley. They hit the road as they'll go to Hillcrest as they'll play a doubleheader there as well. Bueller and Filer will also square off in a doubleheader today. Salmon heads to North Fremont. Sugar Salem hits the road as they go to Teton. Jerome hits the road as they'll take on Mountain Home today. Canyon Ridge heads cross town as they'll take on Twin Falls. Meridian goes up against Boise. Kuna will face Bora. Eagle and Capital will get together today. Nampa will take on Owani. It'll be Mountain View at Rocky Mountain. And Middleton will be at Timberline. In addition to those games, Soda Springs, Nampa Christian, Declo, Lighthouse Christian, Wilder, Chalice McKay, Gooding, and Wendell will all be in action today as they'll be at Glens Ferry High School in the Boise area to participate in the Glens Ferry Woodbat Tournament getting started today. And that's your look at other games going on around the area brought to you by Naylor Insurance. For home health, life, and auto, make sure you stop by Naylor Insurance at 223 North State Street in Preston. Well, game one of the doubleheader between Preston and the Century Diamondbacks is just around the corner. We'll take a timeout. We'll have the starting lineups and the first pitch for game one coming up right after this on KECH and on the My Local Radio Sports Network. We all have those times in life where having insurance has been a great comfort in helping to make a bad situation better. Naylor Insurance takes pride in being that friend there to help you when you need it the most. Serving the community since 1978, Naylor Insurance is proud to represent a number of carriers to fit your insurance needs. Stop by our new location, 223 North State Street in Preston. Webb Funeral Home is proud to be the leading provider of funeral services in Northern Cache Valley, including Southeast Idaho, for almost 100 years. We are a full service mortuary offering the highest quality services with very affordable pricing. We have plans to meet everyone's budget from traditional funeral services to graveside services and cremation options. We gladly provide free insurance coverage review, quality headstones and monuments, as well as funeral transcriptions. Let us answer any questions you might have by calling us at 208-852-0533. Webb Funeral Home, a trusted name in funeral service since 1925. 
Discover your ultimate escape at Day Mountain Ranch. Come enjoy our upscale lodges, perfect for family reunions and corporate retreats. Unwind, bond, and make memories that last in one of our luxury cabins. Host your dream wedding on our secluded property, perfect with a captivating nature backdrop. Or join our gun club. Rent or bring your own firearms and master your skills in private classes or dynamic group sessions at our premier state-of-the-art private gun range up to 2,200 yards. Your outdoor adventure and retreat begins at Day Mountain Ranch, 77 South Spring Creek Road, Preston, Idaho. Reserve your spot now at dmrresort.com. Across the FM airwaves, we're heard at 105.5. On the far-reaching AM dial, we're at 1340. And on the internet at mylocalradio.com. Wherever you find us, we are KACH, Preston, Smithfield, Logan. It's time for Preston High School Sports. Today's game is brought to you by Bexted Real Estate, the real estate experts for Franklin County and beyond. Day Mountain Ranch, relax, retreat, recharge. Crumble Cookies, bringing friends and family together over the world's best cookies. Magnolia Road, ladies, stop in and update your wardrobe today. Puppy Steps Training, Northern Utah and Southern Idaho's premier board and puppy training facility since 2011. Butterfly Express Essential Oils in Clifton, where quality doesn't have to be expensive. West Motors, your only stop for newer used cars in Preston and in Logan. Stokes Market True Value, with the freshest meat and produce in Preston. Webb Funeral Home, serving Preston and surrounding communities since 1925. Ralph's Construction, building homes in the Blue Sage Park area of Preston. I care for you, not just a name, but a commitment. Franklin County Medical Center, with the finest care in all of the Cache Valley. Preston Auto Parts Car Quest, we have all the parts you need to keep your car running strong. Naylor Insurance, your local agent for home, health, life, and auto. North Stars Ultimate Outdoors, Get ready for your next outdoor adventure at North Star's Ultimate Outdoors in Preston. Evergreen Financial Partners, when planning your... Well, welcome back here to uh, to Hollowell Field as we uh, get to see the second game of the doubleheader started. Kate Oxborough up there, and on the first pitch that he sees, he hits a little floater into center field for a leadoff single. There goes the runner as Eli Hammonds up there and shows bunt and... I think he bunted through it. It will be 0-1 as the ball got away from the catcher, uh, Maddox, and allows Oxborough to go to second base, who was running on the pitch. So the fact that he's running on the pitch will be a stolen base rather than a pass ball. So 0-1 the count on Hammonds. And we'll give you the Preston lineup for the second game of the doubleheader here as we go along as the next pitch swung on and missed. The Preston lineup brought to you by Webb Funeral Home, serving Preston and the surrounding community since 1925. So Oxborough leads off. He's in left field. He stands at second base right now, singling to open the game. As the next pitch here to Hammonds is swung on and missed. Hammonds goes down on strikes for the first out, and he will pitch, at least be the starting pitcher in the second game of the doubleheader. Connor Thompson now comes to the plate. He hits third for the Indians, and he'll be at shortstop. Austin Gleed will hit in the four spot. He'll play second base here in the second game of the doubleheader. First pitch to Thompson is pulled down the left field line. That's going to bring Oxborough home as he will come in standing, and it's 1-0 Preston as Thompson singles in the run. So Oxborough comes home. Preston jumps out to an early 1-0 lead on two hits here in the top of the first inning, and now here is Austin Gleed. Xavier Mendoza will hit fifth. He'll be at third base. Clayton Hobbs hits sixth in center. Jackson Merrill's over in right field. He'll hit seventh here in the second game. Jansen Hollingsworth moves back in behind the plate. He'll catch and hit eighth, and Ezra Benavidez will be back over at first base and bat in the nine spot. Next pitch to, to Clayton Hobbs is hit foul as that got a piece of the catcher as Merrill, Maddox rather, kind of throws the hat and the mask away and he'll take a little walk. As he does that, we can start to give you the the lineup here for the Century Diamondbacks here in the second game of the doubleheader as Elias Blackhawk will lead off 
and he will be uh, at back at shortstop here in the second game. Dax Paulson at second. He's in center field. Gavin Flynn is at third base, hitting third. Jackson Zaccardi hits fourth over at first base, and Jackson uh, Jack uh, Maddox is the catcher. He'll hit in the sixth spot. Ben Call hits seventh. Check that. He'll hit uh, sixth. And he'll be at uh, in left field. Uribe, the pitcher, will bat seventh. Then a couple of guys we haven't seen swing the bat in the series yet. Jason Mendez is at second base. He'll hit eighth. And Cooper Snyder, who came in to close out the last couple of innings uh, of the first game of the doubleheader here, he'll be in right field and he'll hit ninth. So there you have the lineups brought to you by Webb Funeral Home, serving Preston and the surrounding communities since 1925. One ball, one strike to count on Austin Gleed here in the top of the first inning as they go back to first base and back over there in time is uh, Connor Thompson as he had to dive in there. So it stays at one and one, Uribe sets up around the bill of the cap. Next pitch is a breaking ball, bounces away from the catcher as that'll be a stolen base for Thompson who was running on the pitch. So a chance for Glade to pick up a base runner here in top of the first inning. Austin two for four in the first game. Two balls and a strike. As the next pitch home from Uribe is going to be rolled foul. That's down by third, played there, foul. And it's now two and two. So two balls and two strikes. Glee climbs back in. A run home here in the top of the first already for the Indians. As the next pitch to Glee is a ground ball to short. Blackhawks going to go to third, and they got Thompson hung out to dry. So Gleed will reach on the fielder's choice. Thompson's out 6-5. That's the second out of the inning. As that will bring up Xavier Mendoza now, the runner at first base in two outs. Mendoza won for four in the first game, singled in, in the third, struck out, grounded out, and also flew out. So he's up here now with two outs in the top of the first inning and a run in for the Indians as the first pitch that is low and away. Ball one, one ball and no strikes. Ready again, Uribe, a big overhand curveball that slides out of his hand and stays way high as it goes way over the head of Mendoza, and it's two balls and no strikes. Ready again, pitch home to Mendoza, hit foul over the top of the uh, first base stands. Four by one boys, I want you to meet at the Pocatello E over here at the end zone. I actually got that one right. All right, the Pocatello E over here. So four two balls and a strike here on Mendoza. I want, at the four, I want you on the end. As the 2-1 pitch bounces up there, goes to 3-1, and one, and on the bounce pitch, the bounce it gets away from the catcher, and that's going to allow Gleed to go to second base. That'll be a wild pitch on that ball that ended up about bouncing about five feet out in front of home plate. So Gleed moves up. The count goes to 3-1 and one here on Zabian Mendoza. So Century wins the first game of the doubleheader, 10-7. Series now tied at a game apiece as the pitch to Mendoza is hit foul at home plate. Now the count full, three and two. They are doing those right now. So the inning opened with Cade Oxborough singling his first hit of the series and eventually came around to score on the RBI single by Connor Thompson as the pitch is low, ball four. So Mendoza walks, that'll extend the inning.
And with two outs and two on, here comes Clayton Hobbs. Clayton with one hit in the first game. He was one for three. He also walked in the game. One nothing Preston here in the top of the first. As the pitch is upstairs and inside, one ball and no strikes. Leads at second, Mend Mendoza over at first. Next pitch to Hobbs is swung on and missed as he tried to steer one back up the middle and came up empty and it's one ball and one strike. With a win here in the night camp, Preston can take the series right, as the, the next pitch is going to be rolled by foul. One, you should be over by the E on the Thunder end zone. Four by one, four one ball and two strikes. Run to the 102, but you guys are going to be on the end of the Thunder end zone. So a ball and two strikes on Hobbs. Uribe ready again as Gleed with a big lead started toward third and goes back and he's and he's out. I'm not sure why he stopped and went back. Uribe didn't see him running, but he stopped and went back, so he ends up getting picked off 1-6 to end the inning as Clayton Hobbs will be back up there when Preston comes up in the second. One run, two hits, no errors, and one man left for the Preston Indians here in the top of the first inning. We'll go to the bottom of the first after a half inning on the flying S title and escrow scoreboard. It's one nothing Indians. As the Indians are gone here in the top of the first, we'll come back as the Diamondbacks will come up for their first at-bats here in the second game of the doubleheader right after this timeout. K-A-C-H, mylocalradio.com. Protecting buyers and lenders in Cache Valley for over 40 years, Northern Title is the trusted name in the tri-state areas of Idaho, Utah, and Wyoming. The staff at Northern Title in Preston protect you from unknown complications like access issues, unpaid taxes, hidden liens, or easement restrictions. Choose the right title company. Choose to close with Northern Title of Preston. Good deeds done daily. Call today at 208-852-5700. Magnolia Road is here to bring you the latest trends in women's fashion. We believe fashion should not only be stylish, but also comfortable and inclusive for every body type, with sizes small through 3X. We strongly believe in giving back to our community, and by supporting Magnolia Road, you are not only embracing fashion, but also supporting Preston and Westside activities. Our team is here to help you find that perfect outfit that suits your style and makes you feel confident. Visit Magnolia Road at our new location, 12 North State Street, Preston, Idaho. K-A-C-H, mylocalradio.com. So one nothing Preston as we go to the bottom of the first. And Eli Hobbs, or Hammonds, rather, will be the starting pitcher for the Indians here in the nightcap of the doubleheader as he will face Eli Blackhawk, Dax Paulson, and Gavin Flynn to lead off here in the first inning. Blackhawk, who was quite the busy guy in the, in the first game, not only did he pitch his, his team to a win in the first, but he was three for three, was on base four times, and scored four runs, and takes the first pitch over for a strike, and it's 0-1. Blackhawk singled in the first, he walked in the second, singled again in the fourth, and singled in again in the fifth, and also drove in a couple of runs as the pitch misses down low, and it's one ball and one strike. Hammonds Rocks comes home, here's the 1-1 pitch to Blackhawk. That's gonna be up high again, ball two, two balls and a strike. Hammonds ready again, comes on the 2-1. That's going to be hit foul back into the screen. And it's now two balls and two strikes. For Hammonds, just his third appearance on the mound this year. 
as he starts the game here with an ERA of even five on the year. Here comes the 2-2 pitch to Blackhawk. That's going to be hit foul again out toward the parking lot. And it'll stay again at two balls and two strikes. Hammonds. As that ball's going to be hit to center, that's going to be in for a hit as uh, Blackhawk is on base for the fifth time today. As he leads off the bottom of the first inning with a solid single to center field. So the leadoff man aboard, and now here is Dax Paulson. Hammonds, who in his uh, three previous appearances had worked a total of five innings. All right, we have the four As here one. is Boys. Paulson uh, we with a leadoff eight, man eight, aboard. They're going to go back over to first base. See if how, how, how well they're going to try to keep, keep uh, Eli Blackhawk close over there, for, there at first base. As he's going, a little delayed steal, and the throw will be late. So he does right off jump, steal second base here in the first inning. So Blackhawk swipes the bag, moves into scoring position. He had two stolen bases in the first game of the doubleheader as well. So his third stolen base of the day. Comes the 1-0 pitch. As he shows bunt, does Paulson, hits it foul over by the the first base dugout, and it's a ball and a strike. So the Indians, with the loss, they go to two and six overall. And for the Diamondbacks, breaking that five game losing streak that they had was certainly important for them as that pitch misses inside and it hits Paulson, and he's going to head down to first base. So Paulson hit by a pitch. That pitch runners at first and second and nobody out here in the bottom of the first inning. Preston leading one nothing in the game. And that brings up the number three hitter, Gavin Flynn. Runner uh, Blackhawk going to third, and he'll be in there with a slide and the delayed steal as Paulson's going to follow him into second base. So they pull off the double steal as Blackhawk swipes third, Paulson into second as the pitch down low for ball one, one ball and no strikes. Flynn with three hits in the first game was three for four. As that pitch in the dirt goes to the backstop, and here comes Blackhawk to tie the game. Yeah, it was a big turn by Paulson at third base, but he's going to stay there. So the wild pitch gets, gets Blackhawk home. That ties the game at one. Paulson still stands down there at third base. Still nobody out here in the bottom of the first inning. A 2-0 pitch on the way to Flynn. That's up high again. And it's ball three, three balls and no strikes. As the 3-0 pitch misses outside, it's ball four. That puts runners at the corners for the Diamondbacks. And that'll bring up the first baseman, Jackson Zaccardi. Please go check in for field. Zaccardi with one hit in the first game. He was also hit by a pitch. He was one for three overall. Runners at the corners. Will run home here in the bottom of the first inning. They bluff to third. They look to second. Now they got the runner hung up. They go back to first, and he is out. So they pick off Flynn, who was trying to run on the pitch, and broke a little bit too soon. It'll be a pickoff. 1-3, that's the first out of the inning. As Zaccardi still waits at the plate as the pitch on the corner for a called strike and it's 0-1. Paulson trying to, trying to get inside the head of Hammonds come running down the line. 
as the 0-1 pitch is going to be hit foul. That's off the right field side over toward the football stadium, and it's no balls and two strikes. Jack Maddox waits on deck. The 0-2 pitch on the way to Zaccardi. Swung on and missed. Snap throw back to third, and it is in time. Strikeout, throw out, double play. As Paulson came a little bit too far down the line and then was picked off 2-5 to end the inning. So a strikeout as the, the Diamondbacks will have to settle for the one run. One run on one hit, a hit batter, a walk, and they end up leaving nobody on base in the inning. We're done with one. The Flying S title and escrow scoreboard says it's a 1-1 tie on a KACH and on the My Local Radio Sports Network. We'll be right back. KACH, mylocalradio.com. Ready is committed to providing superior services to our customers by requiring individual accountability for excellence in quality, safety, and dependability. We are a growing company that is currently hiring across Wyoming, Colorado, Texas, Nevada, Idaho, and elsewhere. Our valued team members receive competitive wages, full benefits, and weekly pay. Interested in joining our team? Visit ReadyUSA.com. We are ready. Step into a realm of beauty and sophistication at Day Mountain Ranch Home and Apothecary. Immerse yourself in the gentle radiance of our exquisite and popular candles, filling your home with captivating fragrances that embrace the senses. Bring refined tranquility into your home and elevate your connection to harmony through our exquisite decor, all while staying here in Franklin County. Elevate your living space with the allure of Day Mountain Ranch Home and Apothecary. Visit us today on 10th North Main Street in downtown Preston. K-A-C-H, mylocalradio.com. All right, one inning in the books. We'll, we'll head to the second and a 1-1 tie. Sorry about that, guys. As the Indians will come back up. Um, who are also going As to the go to first pitch, events, it comes home to Clayton time. Hobbs, who was left standing at home plate when the inning ended with uh, Gleed getting picked off at second base. Takes the first pitch over for a strike, and it's 0-1. Uribe's 0-1 offering is up high, and it's one ball and one strike. Hobbs, as we mentioned before, had one hit in the first game. He was one for three with a walk. As the uh, next pitch misses outside again, and it's ball two, two balls and a strike. Big gap in right center field as the right fielder Snyder plays way over near the line. And Paulson just about straight away in center field. As that pitch is up high, ball three, three balls and a strike. 400 boys come over to the E. For the end zone. I can't imagine how loud that is over there in the Please football stadium where the track meet's the going on. It's like we're sitting right in front of a speaker and we got to be 250 yards away. Little roller as Rebay can't get it and is uh, that makes the second baseman play it and Mendez can't get it out of his glove quick enough. As soon as Rebe couldn't make the play, after that it was Katie bar the door. Hobbs was probably going to beat it out. Kind of a little swing and bunt for Hobbs. He has his his second hit of the day. A leadoff man on for the Indians here in the top of the second inning, and that'll bring up Jackson Merrill. Three hits overall second in the game ball. so far for Preston. Boys. So You're here's Merrill. The the Merrill one for three in the first game. He also was hit by a pitch and takes the first pitch over for a strike, and it's 0-1. With that win by Century in the first game of the doubleheader, it snapped a three-game winning streak overall that Preston had against Century as the next pitch rolled foul, and it's 0-2. Overall, when you go back to, what, the 2008 season, they've played 21 times, this being the 22, 22nd game since 2008, and Preston now leading the, the all-time series going back to, to, to uh, 2008 with a 16-5 to overall mark. The 0-2 pitch, ground ball towards short. Blackhawk looks it into his glove, goes to second for one, back to first, not in time. In fact, it bounces away from Zaccardi 
as Merrill will reach on the fielder's choice. And Clayton Hobbs out at second base, 6-4 on the force play. So one out, one on. And now here is Jansen Hollingsworth. Hollingsworth continues to swing a pretty good bat for the Indians. Last call. Had a good day at the plate Last yesterday call. as there goes the runner on the first pitch and Merrill's going to steal second base. Last call. 400 boys and girls. So Merrill swipes second. As the pitch was in the dirt, one ball and no strikes. Hollingsworth. Who has two hits yesterday as he takes that pitch over for a strike and it's one and one. He was two for two in the first game of the doubleheader today, plus a walk and a hit batter. So he's four for five overall in the series. As that pitch again gets away and a bad pitch from home from a rebay, and it gets away from the catcher, and that's going to allow Merrill now to go all the way to third base, and there's the go-ahead run now with one out 90 feet away. Wild pitch by, by Uribe. As now Hollingsworth will try to pick up the run to get the Indians back the lead again. Century brings the infield up, trying to cut down the run at the plate as the 2-1 pitch misses down low, and it's three balls and a strike. So three and one, if you're, if you're Hollingsworth, you're just sitting on something right down the middle. As Rebay's had a hard time throwing strikes here in the first inning and the third. As a pretty good pitch as Hollingsworth swings through it. Now the count is full, three and two. So three balls and two strikes. Uribe out of the windup in the three-two pitch. He is swung on and hit fouls. He got just enough of it to get it out of out of the glove of Maddox, the catcher. As the count stays at a three and two. One out on a one-one tie here in the top of the second. And the three-two pitch is lined back up the middle. Base hit as Hollingsworth with another hit and singles in the run. And it's 2-1. The Indians as Hollingsworth delivers another hit here in the series. So Merrill comes in to score. Got a courtesy runner over at first base as pitcher goes in to run. So Hollingsworth is now six for his last seven in the series. Back-to-back -back multi hit games as they go to first base and Dylan pitcher over there back in on his hands and knees. So here's Ezra Benavidez, who shows bunt, pops it up, but it's going to land foul as it's no balls in one strike. Benavidez caught the first game. He'll move back to his position over at first base in his third game playing at the varsity for the Indians. He was one for three with a walk in the opener today. Next pitch is rolled foul again. So Uribe jumps out in front of Benavides. Right, no balls and two strikes. Still only one out here in the inning. The off speed and Benavides was so far out in front of it that he had a chance to, to kind of recoil and uh, and still before he swung, but he still swung through it. That's the second out of the inning. Second strikeout for Uribe, back to the top of the order now, and Cade Os uh, Oxborough, who singled his first time up. He was 0 for 4 in the first game, 0 for 2 yesterday, so he's 1 for 7 overall in the series. First pitch was high, ball one. Second one, same place. Up high again, ball two. It's 2-0. Two oh. 
So two balls and no strikes. Today's game brought to you by North Stars Ultimate Outdoors. Get ready for your next outdoor adventure with North Stars Ultimate Outdoors on State Street at the north end of the city of Preston. Ball hit in the air to short right field. Going out is the third baseman, and it is the third baseman Flynn to gather that one in as Oxborough pops up to end the inning. One run for the in Indians in the inning on one hit, and they leave a man on base as well as the will go to the bottom of the second on the Flying S. Tidland escrow scoreboard. It's Preston 2 and the Century Diamondbacks 1. K-A-C-H, mylocalradio.com. Whether you're an athlete looking to treat strained or sore muscles, a multitasking mom seeking balance, or just looking to boost your mood and nutrition, Butterfly Express is here for you. Experience the soothing scents and holistic benefits that cater to both your body and mind with our wide selection of essential oils, herbs, and supplements. And the best part is, unlike other big brand companies, Butterfly Express is affordable and local. Visit us in Clifton or explore our collection online at butterflyexpress.shop and use the promo code KACH10 for 10% off all regularly priced items. Quality doesn't have to be expensive. Butterfly Express Essential Oils. There's no better family activity than a night out at the movies. Worm Creek Opera House Theater on State Street in Preston is your local home for first-run family movies. The historic theater offers top-flight comfort, the coolest refreshments, and quality entertainment all at family prices. Stop by the Worm Creek Opera House at 70 South State Street in downtown Preston. For tickets, show times, and a list of upcoming attractions, go to wormcreek.org. K-A-C-H, mylocalradio.com. So 2-1 Preston leads as we go to the bottom of the second inning. Jack Maddox, who was left standing at home plate when the third out was recorded when uh, Flynn was picked off, will lead it off. It'll be Maddox followed by Ben Call and then Dason Uribe here in the bottom of the second inning against Eli Hammonds. As Hammonds' first pitch misses outside, ball one. One ball and no strikes. Indians are off tomorrow. Then they have an early wake-up call on Saturday for a doubleheader at home. As that pitch again misses outside, ball two. Two balls and no strikes. Saturday, the Bear Lake Bears will come to Tony Hansen Field. We'll have those games for you on Saturday. As the 2-0 pitch again misses high and away, and it's three balls and no strikes. 10.30 pregame, 11 o'clock first pitch on Saturday as the Indians and the Bears will roll around Tony Hansen Field on a Saturday morning as that pitch over for a strike and it's 3-1. and one. Maddox, one for three in the opener. Here comes the 3-1 pitch. That's going to be popped up. That's going to go foul and out of play back over the top of the press box and the count now 3-2. and two. I have to keep my eyes open a little bit better. That foul ball in the first game just about just about landed in my lap as that ball hit the center. Hobbs a few steps over into left center field. He's there and makes the catch. So one out, and they bring up Ben Call. It was Call and Flynn who had the big games in the first game today as both of them were three for four in the game as they had six of the of the 14 hits between them as the first pitch up high. And it's ball one, one ball and no strikes on Ben Call, the left fielder. The 1-0. Ground ball toward the hole. As diving as Thompson gets to his feet and throws, but it's not going to be in time. It'll be an infield hit for Call. That's his fourth hit of the day. So hit for call, second hit in the game for the uh, Diamondbacks. And now here is Dason Arube, who was uh, hitless in the first game, was 0 for 3, was hit by a pitch. Up there now with a man at first base as they go over there and call dives back on the bag. Call, who was 0 for 3 in the opening game of the series yesterday, Back home in Preston. And he has four hits today. 
As that pitch is low and away, ball one, one ball and no strikes. 2-1 Indians here in the bottom of the second inning. Here's the 1-0. Swung on and missed. One ball and one strike. 62 degrees it was at the start of the first game of the doubleheader, and I have to kind of chuckle to myself. First the 1-1 pitch popped up in the infield as it'll be Hammonds to make the play for the second out. So Hammonds handles the pop-up. That's the second out. And now here is uh, Chasen Mendez for his first at-bat of the series. Just got an alert on my phone as the folks at KSL Weather wanted to remind us that, uh, that tomorrow will be the warmest day of the week. When you're getting used to temperatures in the 20s and 30s, I'll take 62 degrees is perfectly fine with me. It was very comfortable here at the ballpark at the start of the first game. In fact, it's still not bad as they go to first base and back to the bag over there is is a call. Next pitch to Mendez is hit foul back into the screen. Mendez, who is hitless on the year. Doesn't get a chance to play a whole lot. In fact, he's only he's 0 for 3 on the year. As they go again, go back to first base and once again call back in you know, on his hands and knees in the dirt in the over there. Two outs. Mendez at the plate. Next pitch misses down low. One and two. So a ball and a strike on Mendez. The 1-1 offering is going to be lined at the second baseman as Gleed able to pick that one off his shoe tops for the third out of the inning. So Mendez lines out. No runs in the inning. One hit and one man left. We're done with two on the Flying S. Tidal and Escrow scoreboard. Preston up 2-1 on the My Local Radio Sports Network. K-A-C-H, mylocalradio.com. Hi, I'm Brad Phillips, professional trainer and owner of Puppy Steps Training. I believe that life is more enjoyable with a well-trained dog. That's why my team and I have come together to give you the ultimate dog training experience through Puppy Steps Training. Our eight-week board and train program is specifically designed to give your puppy a head start on life. Along with access to our extensive training material, you will receive daily progress reports, weekly photo and video updates, and a hands-on training demonstration. Discover the ultimate dog training experience with Puppy Steps Training, the premier dog training facility in Northern Utah, and proud supporter of Westside and Preston High School Athletics. The greatest of life's moments can pass in the blink of an eye. Make sure you enjoy them with clear vision. The optometrists at Eye Care for You have been serving patients in Cache Valley and Preston for 43 years. As a full-service optical store, you'll find glasses, contacts, and professional eye health and vision exams. Doctors Philip Cromwell, Jeff Cromwell, and Lance Henderson are committed to providing you with professional care for your vision. Call today to schedule an appointment in Preston or Logan. Eye Care for You, not just a name, but a commitment. K-A-C-H, mylocalradio.com. All right, we go to the third, 2-1 Preston. As the first pitch to Hammonds is swung on and missed, and it's 0-1. Uribe right back with the 0-1 pitch. Fastball that's up high, and it's uh, one ball and one strike. Hammonds doubled in the first inning of the first game and scored a run. That's the only time he was on base. He ends up one for four in the first game. As Uribe falls behind two balls and a strike, here comes the 2-1 pitch. Rolled foul up along the third baseline as Sean Thompson will hustle over to pick that up. Two balls and two strikes on Hammonds. As the pitch is going to be a little roller up along toward third, Flynn has it, throws it across, good arm, and throws him out. Nice play by Flynn over there at third base. 
And that's one out here in the in the uh, top of the third. One thing for Uribe here in the third inning by getting the out on the ground out by Hammonds. It's the first time he's gotten a leadoff batter in an inning in the game here against the Indians. So here's Thompson. Drove home a run his first time up. I need 10 chairs. 10 to 12 chairs. He was, had two hits in the first game and rolls this one through the hole and into the left field, base hit. So Thompson with two hits in the first game has two more hits here in, in the nightcap as he singles on the first pitch. And there's with one out. There's a man at first base. And now here is Austin Gleed. Indians with four. Five hits in the game now total. I had them shorted by one on my sheet as the first pitch to Gleed is up high, ball one. Austin reached on a fielder's choice and then was out on a strange play to end the first inning as if we go back to first base and Thompson back to the bag. Couple of hits in the first game for Glee today as well, as he was two for four. The 1 0. There goes the runner, and the ball popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Zaccardi giving chase, but he's not going to be able to catch up to it as it falls just foul and out of play. So everybody will come back. One ball and one strike now against Austin Gleed here in the top of the third. Preston leading 2-1. Remember, this is the game three of the uh, of the conference schedules. That ball's grounded back up the middle. Blackhawk, bad hop, able to go and get it and get the force out at second base. But that ball took a wicked hop, hit him up around the shoulder. But he still had presence of mind to, to uh, reach out and collect the ball and still be able to get the force out at second base. So Gleed reaches on the fielder's choice. And Thompson is out on the force, six unassisted. That's the second out. And now that'll bring up Zabian Mendoza again. First pitch to Zabian. Fastball is up high, ball one. Mendoza walked his first time up. He also had one hit in the first game. Uribe's next pitch home is line into the glove of the third baseman, Flynn. Barry Brooks Robinson-like takes one step over into the, into the, the hole, able to reach out and grab it and keep it from going into left field. So Preston denied. No runs, one hit. And one man left in the inning. Fine defensive play by Flynn to end the inning. After two and a half on the Flying S. Tidal and Escrow scoreboard, Preston up 2-1 as we'll go bottom three on KACH and on the My Local Radio Sports Network. KACH, mylocalradio.com. It's always refreshing to shop where you know you'll be appreciated. It's even better to know that you can get everything you need, quality parts at fair prices. The team at Preston Auto Parts CarQuest appreciates every customer. They work hard to make sure that you have the right part the first time, on time. Whether it's motorcycles, farm and ranch, lawn and garden, or car or truck parts, you can always get it all at Preston Auto Parts CarQuest. Stop in where you'll be treated like a friend. 17 South State Street, Preston. When you think of a medical center's vital signs, you think of a monitor beeping. Today, Franklin County Medical Center is sharing a new set of vital signs. They're the vital signs of a growing hospital. Our new medical office building is now home to the care you depend on. You'll visit us here for primary, specialty, and walk-in care. Franklin County Medical Center has been a vital part of the region's healthcare since 1929 right in your neighborhood. K-A-C-H, mylocalradio.com. Bottom three, 2-1 Preston leading. And here in the bottom of the third, Cooper Snyder will lead it off, the number nine hitter. Then we go back to the top of the order in Blackhawk and Paulson. First pitch to Snyder, misses upstairs, ball one, one ball and no strikes. Snyder did not have an at-bat in the first game came in and pitched the last two innings. 
And takes that pitch over for a strike, and it's one and one. So his first at bat of the series, as he did not appear at all in the first game of the series back in Preston yesterday, as that pitch is up high, two balls and a strike. Outfield straight away for him, infield back. And here comes the 1 1 pitch. Missing down low, ball. Ball three, three balls and a strike. Three one pitch is up high, ball four. So a leadoff walk, probably not the guy you want to put on base, simply not because he's going to run like crazy, but you don't want to have anybody on base when Elias Blackhawk will come to the plate, which he does now. Blackhawk singled, stole second, stole third, and came home on a wild pitch. The only run of the game so far for the Diamondbacks as the first pitch misses down and away, ball one. One ball and one strike, no strikes. Today's game brought to you by Puppy Steps Training. It's an eight-week board and train program designed to give your puppy a head start on life. Wouldn't your life be better with a well-trained dog from Puppy Steps Training? As the pitch to Blackhawk again misses outside, ball two. It's two balls and no strikes. Snyder with a lead over at first, not too big. Ground ball towards short. Thompson, who is leaning towards second base, has got to go back and get it. The throw back across his body is not in time. So Blackhawk beats it out. Runners at first and second and nobody out. And now Dax Paulson will come up. Thompson, who was looking possibly double play or if the runner might have been going, was really shading towards second base. If he had been playing in his normal position, that would have been an easy two hopper hit right at it by Blackhawk. But because he was three or four steps closer to second as the first pitch to Paulson is uh, a bunt attempt that he uh, bunts through, it's a uh, strike and it's 0-1. Because he was shaded towards second base, he had really no play, but he did a good job just to make it close over at first. Here's the 0-1 pitch to Paulson, swinging, hits it foul at home plate, and it's 0-2. So no balls and two strikes. Paulson one for three in the first game. At a sacrifice. As the, uh, also walked once, as that pitch bounces up there. Hollingsworth throws the third, but it's not gonna be in time there. Call it a wild pitch, as it bounced up there to home plate. It allows both runners to move up 90 feet, so it's one and two on Paulson with runners at second and third as that pitch is outside, and they count now even at two balls and two strikes on, on Dax Paulson. The 2-2 offering coming home, fastball stays high, and now Paulson with a full count and first base open as Hammonds goes back to out of the windup again in the 3-2 pitch, that's hit foul off the first base side. Gavin Flynn waiting his turn on deck. New ball for Hammonds. Again, the 3-2 pitch coming home. Hit the hit in the air to center. Hobbs is there. Took a step back. He's got to come in. Tagging as Hobbs makes the catch. The play at the plate is not in time. And it's a 2-2 tie as Paulson picks up the run. So that's one out. Also moving up in, uh, was a Blackhawk who now ends up over at third. As the game now tied at two here in the third inning. As the first pitch hit on the ground, Elias broke toward the plate but stopped as they record the out at first as Flynn grounds out. So two outs. 
as Flynn grounds out 4-3. And now here is Jackson Zaccardi to pick up the run with a two-out hit. As the first pitch to him is hit foul off the first base side, and it's 0-1. So two outs in the inning, a run home. One hit in the inning as Blackhawk stands down at third. As time called, ready again as Hammonds climbs back on top of the hill. Here comes the 0-1. That's over for a strike, and it's 0-2. So game tied at two. Hammonds ready, the 0-2 pitch. That's going to be hit foul down off his, his foot. Rolls up to a uh, part of ways up the first baseline. So it stays at no and two. Hammonds again coming home with the 0-2 pitch. Misses outside. Try to get him to chase one off the plate that time. But he laid off and it's no balls and two strikes. Check that one ball and two strikes. The one two offering. Is on the corner, strike three called. So they leave Blackhawk standing over at third base. One run, one hit, and one left in the inning as we are done with three now here at, uh, in, in Pocatello as the Diamondbacks and the Indians are tied at two as we go to the third on the My Local Radio Sports Network. K-A-C-H, mylocalradio.com. When buying a vehicle, you want the process to be straightforward and the financing simple. At West Motor and West Motor Ford, that's exactly the way that you'll be treated. They also understand that accidents can happen and maintenance will be needed. When you find yourself in need of body and paint work, windshield repair, work under the hood, or under the vehicle, West Motor would love to help you out and earn your trust. Turn to West Motor and West Motor Ford in Preston and Hyde Park. WestMotorCompany.com We offer rebates on energy-saving products and equipment for our customers. For example, your home's heating and air conditioning system draws significant amount of electricity during certain times of the year. We offer cash back for heat pumps, which use energy-efficient technology to heat and cool your home. We also offer rebates on appliances and smart accessories like smart plugs and smart switches. Really, for anything that draws electricity in your home, we usually have some type of rebate to offer you. Visit WattSmartHomes.com today. K-A-C-H, MyLocalRadio.com. All right, we go here to the top of the fourth in a 2-2 tie. As... Rebe comes home with the first pitch here to Clayton Hobbs. Misses outside, ball one. One ball and no strikes. Well, here in the fourth inning, let's see if we can update you on some other scores from around the big leagues today. The 1-0 pitch is outside and high again. Ball two, two balls and no strikes. Games around the majors today. Two games were postponed because of weather. That was Minnesota at Detroit as a ground ball foul. One and one. Also postponed because of rain was Milwaukee at Cincinnati. A couple of finals. The Mets knocked off Atlanta by a score of 16 to four today. The two one pitch misses outside ball three. The Royals just keep on winning. As again, they put up double digits against Houston, beating the Astros today by a score of 13 to three at Kauffman Stadium. The 3-1 pitch is high, ball four, and Hobbs will walk to lead off the inning. So three of the four innings for the Indians. The leadoff man has reached, and now here's Jackson Merrill. Two other games on a limited schedule today, both still going on. They're in the top of the eighth in Philadelphia. That's the Phillies five and the Pittsburgh Pirates nothing. As Merrill at the plate. There goes the runner. The pitch is low. The throw through is in time. Nice throw by Maddox as he throws out Hobbs 2-6 for the first out. One ball and no strikes as the ball bounced at the plate. Made the throw by Maddox even tougher. 
and try to make that play. The other game going on is at Fenway Park where the Red Sox are playing host to the Baltimore Orioles in the bottom of the sixth inning there as that pitch is swung out and missed, and it's one and one. The Red Sox lead the Orioles two to one in the bottom of the fifth. So a very limited schedule, only six games originally on the schedule today with a couple of rainouts as the 1-1 one, one pitch is high and it's now two balls and a strike on Jackson Merrill. The 2-1. It's going to be hit to Watt right along the line. Coming over is call, but he can't get it. Then the ball bounces as he knocked it up in the air, and that's going to allow Merrill to go to second base. So a diving, sliding attempt by Call and to kind of deflected it up in the air. It's going to be a double for Merrill on the sliding, diving attempt by Call. And with one out, Preston has a man at second base and a 2-2 tie here in the top of the fourth. So here is Jansen Hollingsworth. The hottest bat on the team right now hits another ball toward the hole. Blackhawk will backhand, throw to third, and he is call something out. You don't need to walk 15 feet before you make a call. Just call something. So Hollingsworth hits into the fielder's choice. Another fine defensive play by Blackhawk as Merrill is out. 6-5 for the second out of the inning. And now here is Ezra Benavides. As again, pitcher will come out and run for Hollingsworth over at first base. So here's Benavides, a strikeout victim his first time. And the first pitch on the corner for a strike. And it's 0-1. Outfield straight away. Center fielder Paulson fairly shallow in center. They go back to first base again, and diving back to the bag over there is the courtesy runner pitcher. Still 0-1. Next pitch to Benavides up and in. One ball and one strike. If Ezra can extend the inning, it would be Cade Hobbs who would be next, who waits on deck. Next pitch hit foul down off of Benavides' foot. And now goes to one and two. Today's game brought to you by West Motors, your only stop for new or used cars in Preston and in Logan. So one ball, two strikes to count. Benavides climbs back in as the next pitch misses down and away and runs the count to two balls and two strikes. So two and two, two outs. Rebay ready again. The 2-2 pitch bounces up there and runs the count full, now 3-2. So, pitcher, who's running over at first base, would be away on the, on the upcoming 3-2 pitch with two outs. And see if Benavides can find a, find a hole someplace and put one in play. Runner doesn't go, and the ball hit in the air. To short center field. Coming up is the center fielder, and he can't make the play as Paulson had to try to drive for the ball at the last minute, and pitcher goes all the way to third base. So Preston ends up with runners at the corners on that little flare single for Benavides, his second hit of the day. So now back to the top of the order, and here's Cade Oxborough. Oxborough, one for two in this game, 0 for four in the, in the opener. As he takes that first pitch up high, ball one, one ball and no strikes. Two outs, runners at the corners from the, for the Indians. As Oxborough hits the ball on the ground, that's going to be at the second baseman, and it runs up Mendez's arm, and everybody's safe, and pitcher scores. That'll be an error charged against Mendez. Gets the run home for the Indians as, as Hollingsworth comes in. 
Benavita is safe at second base, and Preston goes back out in front 3-2, as now here's Eli Hammonds back at the plate. First pitch from uh, Rebay is up high, ball one. Hammonds 0 for 2 here in the nightcap. Struck out, grounded out. That would make him 1 for 6 here on the day here in Pocatello. That pitch is going to be hit foul, and it's a ball and a strike. So Preston pushes across the go-ahead run on two hits in the inning. as the uh, next pitch misses outside again. And it's two balls and a strike. Uribe sets at the, at the letters, comes home, and that pitch is a strike again. And it's two balls and two strikes. Now the 2-2 pitch. Swung on and missed. Got one in on the hands as Hammond swang through it and it ends the inning, but Preston gets another run to retake the lead as on the Flying S title and escrow scoreboard, Preston now leads it 3-2 as we go to the bottom of inning number four on KACH and on the My Local Radio Sports Network. KACH, mylocalradio.com. Papa Jay's World Headquarters in Clifton, Idaho, started on the dream of a man who wanted to give back to his small town farming community. 20 years later, it's a place renowned for its gourmet beef jerky, deli, and uniquely friendly customer experience. The friendly staff at Papa Jay's invites you to come in or find them online at papajays.com, where you can have the unique taste of Papa Jay's beef jerky shipped to you all with a click of a button. Papa Jay's world-class jerky in small town USA. PapaJays.com. Discover your ultimate escape at Day Mountain Ranch. Come enjoy our upscale lodges, perfect for family reunions and corporate retreats. Unwind, bond, and make memories that last in one of our luxury cabins. Host your dream wedding on our secluded property, perfect with a captivating nature backdrop. Or join our gun club. Rent or bring your own firearms and master your skills in private classes or dynamic group sessions at our premier state-of-the-art private gun range up to 2,200 yards. Your outdoor adventure and retreat begins at Day Mountain Ranch, 77 South Spring Creek Road, Preston, Idaho. Reserve your spot now at dmrresort.com. Listen for Dan Hubbard and Preston Indian Sports on KACH. All right, the Indians push a run across in the top of the inning, and they lead it 3-2 now as we go to the bottom of inning number four. As once again, Eli Hammonds goes back to the mound, pitching with a one-run lead as he'll face Jack Maddox, Ben Call, and Dyson Uribe here in the bottom of inning number four. Don't forget, Preston back home on Saturday. Early start, 11 a.m. first pitch. Doubleheader against the Bear Lake Bears. We'll have the games for you here on KCH, starting with the pregame show just after 10.30 coming up on Saturday morning. So here's Maddox, 0 for 1, flew out to center his first time. As that pitch misses outside, ball one, one ball and and, uh, no strikes. He had one hit in the opener today. The 1-0 pitch, swung on and missed, big swing, comes up empty and it's a ball and a strike. Hammond's ready again, and here comes the 1-1. Misses up high. Ball two, two balls and a strike. Indians, of course, will be back here at Hollowell Field when they take on the Pocatello uh, Club coming up here in a week or so. Is that pitch on the corner? Again, it's uh, two balls and two strikes. They'll play one game here and two games over in Preston against Pocatello. Next pitch popped up right in the middle of the infield. It'll be Gleed, the second baseman, to come up and make the catch on the infield grass. So one out. And now here is Ben Call, who singled his first time up. His fourth hit of the day. He was three for four in the opener. 
and then singled. And slices this one foul out along the right field line. And it's 0-1. Call who coming into the series here against the Indians had one hit in 27 at bats. It was hitting just 0-43 as he hits that one foul and it's 0-2. In fact, yesterday he was at, at the plate four times at the game in, in Preston as the 0-2 pitch comes home. This is low, 1-2. and two. He struck out three times and reached on an error. So technically, coming into today, he was 1 for 31 and ended up with three hits in the first game of the, of the doubleheader as that pitch misses again, and it's two balls and two strikes. He was 3 for 4 in the opener. 2-2 pitch on the way. A little poke job up along first as picking up the ball there, carrying it to the bag is Benavidez for the ground out. And there's two outs here in the bottom of the fourth. With now bringing up the pitcher, Dyson Uribe. So it's been kind of quite a roller coaster ride for, for Mr. McCall, or Mr. Call, I should say, is really struggling early on and all of a sudden finding his footing here against the Indians. First pitch is a ground ball to short. Thompson plays it across, and the Diamondbacks are gone. One, two, three here in the bottom of the fourth. So they're out in order. We'll go to the fifth after four on the flying S. Tylen escrow scoreboard. Preston leads it by the score of three to two on the My Local Radio Sports Network. K-A-C-H, mylocalradio.com. Webb Funeral Home is proud to be the leading provider of funeral services in Northern Cache Valley, including Southeast Idaho, for almost 100 years. We are a full service mortuary offering the highest quality services with very affordable pricing. We have plans to meet everyone's budget from traditional funeral services to graveside services and cremation options. We gladly provide free insurance coverage review, quality headstones and monuments, as well as funeral transcriptions. Let us answer any questions you might have by calling us at 208-852-0533. Webb Funeral Home, a trusted name in funeral service since 1925. When you are looking for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, but you want something that is ready to eat now, always stop at the Stokes Market Deli in Preston. With cold and hot cases, you can always find food that is fresh, hot, or cold. Sandwiches, soup, salads, deviled eggs, donuts, wraps, cheese trays, desserts, and a hot and delicious buffet. A meal out doesn't have to be at a restaurant. Come and enjoy something for everyone at the Stokes Market Deli today. 217 South State Street in Preston. K-A-C-H, mylocalradio.com. 3-2 Preston as we go to the fifth. As the Indians will send up send up Connor Thompson, Austin Gleed, and Zabin Mende, uh, Mendoza here in the top of inning number five. Three runs, eight hits for the Indians. Two runs, three hits for the Century Diamondbacks. And here is Connor Thompson, who has four hits on the day. Two in the first game, two here so far in the second as well. As Uribe comes home, and the first pitch to Thompson is hit in the air towards center. Right there is where Paulson hangs out, and he puts it away. One pitch, one out here in the top of the fifth. Today's game brought to you by Northern Title, the trusted name in the tri-state area. Good Deeds Done Daily is what they are known for. Call to find out how they can help you at 208-852-5700. So one out, here's Austin Gleed. Gleed twice here in the game has rolled into fielder's choices. As he hits the first pitch on the ground, wide of the third, backhanded by Blackhawk who straightens and throws him out. Boy, Blackhawk is a heck of an athlete. Doesn't matter really what sport he's playing. Is he, is, he is very good at everything he does as he throws out Gleed. Two pitches and two outs here in the top of the fifth. And here's Xavier Mendoza. Mendoza's walked and lined out. Was, heck, was out on a heck of a play by, by Flynn his last time up. So two outs here in the top of the fifth. As Mendoza climbs in, Uribe's first pitch 
is rolled foul down by the third base coach's box as Thompson has it there. As he'll roll it back to Uribe. And it's 0-1. Zabian with one hit in the opener. Here's the 0-1. That misses down low. And it's one ball and one strike on Zabian Mendoza, third baseman for the Indians. He's been playing that for the last two years plus this year. He's been a steady steady uh, player down there at third base for the Preston baseball team as the pitch hit foul. And the count goes to one and two. One ball and two strikes on Zabian Mendoza. Uribe Rocks comes home with a 1-2. Again, poke foul. Off off the first base side, and it stays at a ball and two strikes. Clayton Hobbs would be next for the Indians. Again, Uribe's 1-2 pitch. That uh, hits him as he'll head down to first base. So the hit batter will extend the inning, and here's Clayton Hobbs, who's singled and walked here in the game. Pretty much the same numbers he put up in the first game. He was one for three with a walk in the opener today. So here's Hobbs with two out and a man at first base. As the first pitch is rolled to the right side, gobbling it up there as, as Mendez and throws wide at first base. It's going to be a throwing error, and they're going all the way to third is, is Zabian Mendez for the Indians. And it'll extend the inning. As Hobbs will reach on the air. So runners at second and third for the Indians, and here's Jackson Merrill who doubled his last time up. As Uribe will go back to working out of the windup with runners at second and third. And a big spot here for Merrill to extend Preston's lead as the first pitch is up high and hits him and loads the bases. So, so two hit batters in the inning. And with the bases full, we'll bring up Jan, uh, Jansen Hollingsworth, the catcher. Hollingsworth with five hits in the series. Singled with an RBI in back in the second. Reached on a fielder's choice and scored a run in the fourth, which was the go-ahead run for the Indians. Now he's up there with two outs and the base is full. 3-2 and a big spot here for Jansen Hollingsworth. Mendez is at third, Hobbs at second, Merrill over at first. Uribe comes home with the first pitch and a little roller towards short. Blackhawk will gobble that up. He'll throw across, throw high, but uh, Zuccardi able to go up and get it and keep a toe on the bag. So Preston loads the bases, but they fail to score as they leave the bases full, no runs. No hits in the inning. One error, and they leave three on base. As we'll go to the bottom of the fifth, the Flying S scoreboard tells us that it's 3-2 Preston on the My Local Radio Sports Network. K-A-C-H, mylocalradio.com. It's the goal in everyone's life to reach financial independence and security. Evergreen Financial Partners in Preston can help with strategies to assist in those goals. They will design a plan to suit you, whether it be for your family, home, or current or future investments. Evergreen Financial Partners can help with life insurance, long-term life, 401ks, retirement plans, or mutual funds. Contact the experts at Evergreen Financial and let them put a plan together for you. Find them at 41 West 1st South in Preston or go online to set your appointment at evergreenfinancialpartners.net. Evergreen Financial Partners, your first step to financial security. 
We all have those times in life where having insurance has been a great comfort in helping to make a bad situation better. Naylor Insurance takes pride in being that friend there to help you when you need it the most. Serving the community since 1978, Naylor Insurance is proud to represent a number of carriers to fit your insurance needs. Stop by our new location, 223 North State Street in Preston. K-A-C-H, mylocalradio.com. Well, still a one-run game as we go here to the bottom of inning number five. Preston leading 3-2. And here in the fifth, it'll be Jason Mendez, Cooper Snyder for the Diamondbacks. And back to the top of the order in Elias Blackhawk. Mendez lined out. Hit one pretty good, but lined out to Thompson at short his first time up. So he's 0 for 1 on the day. Just three hits in the game for the for the Diamondbacks. And no more than one hit in any inning as the first pitch from Hobbs bounces up there and it's ball one, one ball and no strikes. They had one hit in each of the first three innings and then last inning they went out in order, one, two, three. Next pitch that misses inside, ball two, two and oh. Next pitch from Hammonds, misses up high. Runs the count to three balls and no strikes. Hammonds res- retired five straight. Here's the 3-0 pitch. That's over for a strike, and it's 3-1. and one. We Go back to the scoring fly ball by Dax Paulson in the third inning. And since then, nothing but red numbers. As the next pitch swung on and missed, and it's 3-2. Uh, and two. Now the 3-2 pitch on the way. Mendez hits it foul over by the third base coach's box. And it stays at uh, three balls and two strikes. So three and two. As the pitch home actually was a pinch hitter, CJ Short up there pinch hitting and he'll draw a walk. So CJ walks. Read off man aboard and here is Cooper Snyder. As they go to first base and they've got the man picked off. So CJ Short just into the game walks and then gets picked off over at first base. That's the first out. And Cooper Snyder will climb back in, still waiting for a pitch here in this at bat. As the first pitch, fastball for a strike. Snyder walked and scored back in the third inning. Originally, that tied the game at two as he came home on the scoring fly ball by Paulson. As that pitch misses up high, and it's a ball and a strike. The 1 1 pitch misses outside, ball two, two and one. Shadow's starting to get a little long here. They do have lights, although I'm I would assume they would turn the lights on as that ball hit in the air to center field. Hobbs almost in his tracks there to make the catch for the second out. If you have to face Blackhawk, you might as well face him with the bases empty as he comes to the plate two for two in this game, five for five with a walk and five runs scored overall on the day. So here's Blackhawk. Hammonds' first pitch to him is grounded toward third. Mendez backs up to get a a bounce, throws across, and looking back into the sun, Benavidez couldn't find it as the ball rolls all the way into foul territory, and Blackhawk's going to keep on going all the way to third, and he is safe. As Eli runs all the way, it'll be a... It'll be a... It'll be an error to allow Blackhawk to get all the way to third base. 
The throw was high anyway, and Bina Venice, Bina Venice, who looks right back into the sun, didn't never saw the ball. And Blackhawk goes all the way to third base on the throwing air. So two outs, the tying run to third base. And here is the first pitch, bounces away from the catcher, and here comes Blackhawk to tie the game at three. So the ball bounced in the dirt, so it'll be a wild pitch as Blackhawk comes home. They score a run without a hit here in the inning and tie the game at three as the next pitch popped up as the first baseman Benavides says he'll take it and does and the inning is over but not before the Diamondbacks able to get a run on an error and a pass ball or a wild pitch rather to tie the game at three. We're done with five. The flying S title and escrow scoreboard tells us it's a 3-3 tie as we go to the sixth on the My Local Radio Sports Network. K-A-C-H, mylocalradio.com. Ready has provided safety and excellence in industrial construction and support services since 1982. From insulation and scaffolding to paintings and coatings, our crews are standing by to assist with new construction, maintenance projects, facility shutdowns, and more. Contact us today to ensure your assets are protected and functional. Interested in joining our team? Visit readyusa.com. We are ready. Folks have many reasons to visit Casper, Wyoming every year, whether it's work, high school sports and activity, a romantic getaway, or business meetings. The best place to stay when you're in Casper is the Come On In Hotel and Suites. A beautiful log hotel offers five hot tubs, a pool, fitness center, and a fabulous indoor atrium. You can also reserve meeting rooms for your next event, and each stay includes an extended continental breakfast. Reserve your rooms today at the Come On In Hotel and Suites in Casper, Wyoming. Call 307-472-6300. Listen for Dan Hubbard and Preston Indian Sports on KACH. Well, we're now tied at three as we go to the sixth. And it'll be Ezra Benavides, Benitez uh, to lead off. And the first pitch swung on and missed, and it's 0-1-1. Benitez with one hit, had one hit in the opener as well. little roller up along the third baseline. That'll be foul, and it's 0-2. So three runs, eight hits, and an error for the Indians. Three runs, four hits, and an error for the Diamondbacks. As we're tied at three, going to the late innings. In action now in the in the bullpen, down along the right field line for Century. The 0-2 pitch. Hit in the air. Foul ground, third base side. Flynn crosses over the line, and foul ground makes the catch. So one out, and back to the top of the order now, and Cade Oxborough will come up. Oxborough singled and scored a run back in the first inning, and that's still the only hit that he has in the series. As that first pitch misses down low, ball one. One ball and no strikes. He's one for nine overall on the, on the series here with the Diamondbacks. The 0-1. That's on the corner, and it's 0-2. Rebe stands both feet on the rubber as he'll rock and come home back to uh, Oxborough as ball fouled at home plate. So it stays in no balls and two strikes on Kate Oxborough. As Uribe, as the catcher slides outside and the next pitch home, that's hit in the air to straightaway center field. Paulson's got a read on that. He came in, now he's got to go back a few and makes the catch. So two up, two down here in the sixth inning. And now here's the pitcher, Eli Hammonds, who's 0 for 3, struck out twice and is grounded out. Right-hander continues to throw down in the bullpen for Century. 
Here in the top of the sixth inning with two outs and Hammond's at the plate. Urebe comes home. And the first pitch is swung on and missed. Now field straight away, medium deep here against Eli. The 0-1 pitch to Hammonds. Is that his little hesitation is wind up by Uribe, and the pitch is low anyway, and it's one ball and one strike. He likes that little hesitation. But that one missed. Now the 1-1 on the way. Popped up. Again, right in the infield, Uribe will give way, way to the third baseman, Flynn, just in fair territory. As for the first time today in this game, and second time today, the Indians go in order, one, two, three. Still a 3-3 tie on the Flying S. Tylen Escrow scoreboard as we go to the bottom of the sixth on the My Local Radio Sports Network. K-A-C-H, mylocalradio.com. In 1996, my father, Jay Moyle, started producing gourmet beef jerky in the foothills of Clifton, Idaho. Now, over 20 years later, Papa Jay's beef jerky is a staple of the Franklin County community. Family run since the beginning, the modern way of making jerky here at Papa Jay's is the old-fashioned way. Absolutely no shortcuts are taken in producing the finest quality and most delicious smoked meat you can find. Come over to Papa Jay's and bite into a tender, flavorful stick of Papa Jay's, and your view of jerky will never be the same. 10 South Main Highway, Clifton, Idaho. North Stars Ultimate Outdoors is the best provider of power sport vehicles right here in downtown Preston. Vehicles and equipment from brand names that you know and trust, like Steel, Polaris, and Yamaha. Stop in and let us get you ready for your next adventure at North Stars Ultimate Outdoors. It's where the fun starts, 777 North State Street, Preston. K-A-C-H, mylocalradio.com. Well, Hammond stays out there as we go to the bottom of the sixth inning in a 3-3 tie. Why not? He's only given up four hits in the game. And the last run that came in against him was an unearned run. So we'll go to the bottom of the sixth in a 3-3 tie. It'll be the middle of the lineup due up here for the Diamondbacks. Gavin Flynn, Jackson Zaccardi, and then uh, Jack Maddox, the catcher. The three, four, and five hitters. Here's Flynn, 0 for 1 officially here in the nightcap of the doubleheader. They've managed to keep him off base after he had three hits in the opener. And the first pitch is going to be a ground ball up the middle. Thompson has it near the bag. He'll straighten, throw across in time as they get Flynn to ground out for the first down of the inning. So with one out, here's the first baseman, Jackson Sicardi, who's 0 for 2 here in the night camp of the doubleheader. Hammonds comes home. The first pitch to Cardi is uh, swung on and hit foul into the glove of Hollingsworth, and it's 0-1. So after, after the Indians took a lead or scored their third run, boy, the, the pitching and defense for the Diamondbacks has certainly tightened up. Pitch was over for a strike, and the uh, next pitch here to Zaccardi is a ground ball back up the middle. That's going to find center field. Hammonds tried to catch it. The only play he had was to try to reach around back behind himself and backhand the ball, but he wasn't able to. Zaccardi has his first hit of the game, just the fifth hit overall in the nightcap of the doubleheader for the Diamondbacks. And with one out and a man on, here's the catcher, Jack Maddox, who was 0 for 2. He's flown out and popped up. Going to show bunt, gets the bunt down. They're going to go to second, and they'll get the force out there. So Maddox safe on the fielder's choice. Good, good heads-up play by Hammonds. They go have no, he had the plenty of time to go back and get the force out at second. So 1-6 on the force for the second out. And now here's Ben Call, the other guy with three hits in the first game. Has one hit here in the nightcap, so he has four hits today. 
Call is singled and grounded out unassisted to first base. As the first pitch hit foul off the first base side and it's 0-1. Today's game brought to you by Polar Bear Restaurant. The Polar Bear is back and better than ever. Hey, stop by there tonight after the game. Stop in and grab some dinner or lunch tomorrow. You'll find them on Highway 91 at the south end of the city of Preston. The 0-1 pitch. That misses down low. And it's ball two, two ball, ball one rather, one ball and one strike. Two outs, bottom of the six and a 3-3 tie. As they go to first base and back to the bag over there is, is Maddox. Hammond's ready, out of the stretch. And comes home, that ball hit in the air to center field. Hobbs over into the gap, he's there and makes the catch going away as the inning comes to an end. No runs, a hit, and one left. As we'll go to the seventh inning on the Flying S title and escrow scoreboard, it's still a 3-3 tie on KACH and on the My Local Radio Sports Network. KACH, mylocalradio.com. 105.5 FM, KACH. I'm Dan Keller, Mayor of Preston. And we are Preston Proud and Idaho Strong. Hi, I'm Jay Butters with Alta Bank, and we are Preston Proud, Idaho Strong. Hi, this is Lyle Fuller with the Fuller & Fuller Law Firm, and we are Preston Proud and Idaho Strong. Hi, I'm Larry Morrison with Evergreen Financial Partners. We are Preston Proud and Idaho Strong. 105.5 KACH. We're Preston Proud, Idaho Strong, serving Franklin County and beyond. The greatest of life's moments can pass in the blink of an eye. Make sure you enjoy them with clear vision. The optometrists at Eye Care For You have been serving patients in Cache Valley and Preston for 43 years. As a full-service optical store, you'll find glasses, contacts, and professional eye health and vision exams. Doctors Philip Cromwell, Jeff Cromwell, and Lance Henderson are committed to providing you with professional care for your vision. Call today to schedule an appointment in Preston or Logan. Eye Care For You, not just a name, but a commitment. K-A-C-H, mylocalradio.com. All right, we've reached the seventh inning in a 3-3 tie, and the Indians will send up the heart of the order. As the first pitch to Connor Thompson's hit off the end of the bat into right field, base hit. Thompson has his third hit of the game to lead off here in the top of the seventh inning. So Thompson now with five hits today, and that'll bring up Austin Gleed. Gleed is grounded out three times. As he'll come up here, and let's see if they're gonna ask him to bunt, or they're gonna let him swing away. He's bunting, gets it down, it's a good bunt. Down to get it is Flynn, and he overruns the ball. And everybody's safe, and they throw back to second base. And Blackhawk not expecting the ball. So Gleed will reach. Runners at first and second for the Indians as they scored a hit. Good bunt, was a tough play for, for Flynn no matter what. So two on and nobody out, and here's Zabian Mendoza. As Mendoza's gonna bunt, as he gets it down. They make a rebate, come down to get it. He bare hands, throws, gets him. So the sacrifice works, both runners move up 90 feet. Nice play by Uribe to come down and get it. So the go ahead run now 90 feet away as Thompson stands at third, and Gleed would be a little insurance for the Indians. He stands at second with one out. So here's Clayton Hobbs. Singled, walked, reached on an error. One for two overall here in the, in the game. He had one hit in the opener as well, and the first pitch here is a fastball that's high. Now they did have somebody throwing last inning in the bullpen, did the Diamondbacks, but they stay with a rebay, and so far, it's all quiet down in the bullpen in the right field corner. Here's the 1-0. On the corner, strike call, and it's one and one. 
Ducks are out there to pick up. See if Hobbs can put one in play. The Diamondbacks bring the infield up as the next pitch is up high. Ball two, two and one. Franklin County Medical Center helps bring you today's game. Yeah, it's where you'll find the finest care in all of the Cache Valley. Two balls and a strike. Hobbs waiting. Uribe working out of the windup, and the 2-1 is hit in the air toward the gap as the right fielder, Snyder, was playing shallow. It's over his head, and it's going to roll the wall. One run is in. Here comes Gleed to score. On his way to third is Hobbs. He's in there with a triple, and the ball gets away there, and Hobbs is going to come in and score and clear the bases. So it'll be a triple and an error to allow him to come in. As all three runs are in here for the Indians, and it's now six to three. And here comes Coach Blackhawk to the mound. And that should be it for Uribe, and it will be as he will walk toward the dugout. So the bad throw that gets away over at third base gets pressed into third run here in the inning. And a new pitcher on here for the Diamondbacks. We'll take a timeout. We'll come back and tell you who the pitcher is as Preston with three in the inning now leads by a score of 6-3. to three. We'll be right back. K-A-C-H, mylocalradio.com. If you're looking for someplace new as you head into your golden years, look into the tradition of quality designer homes built by Ralph's Construction in the Blue Sage Park area of Preston. Working in Phase 3 now with Phase 4 starting soon, these homes can be built to a floor plan that you desire, or Ralph's Construction has other options that you're sure to fall in love with. Call today for more information, 435-232-1837. Now is the time to plan for the finest home of your life. Time. Ralph's Construction, 435-232-1837. People oftentimes ask us, why do people from other areas of the valley or other parts of the state or drive so far to come here? And, and I, a lot of times I'll ask them, so why did you drive past several different dealers to come and buy your car here? And they, a lot of times they say, I just like the environment here. I like the low pressure. They don't play games. You guys are straightforward with me. You don't, you know trick me into buying something I don't want. We, we take care of people the way we want to be treated, and so they'll drive a ways to do that. All right, the new pitcher on here for the Diamondbacks is Aiden McCaslin as Uribe goes six and a third. And with the defense... A little shaky behind him at times. He ends up giving up a total of six runs on 11 hits. So here's McCaslin with the bases empty and only one out. And the first pitch here to Merrill is going to be hit to center base hit. Fourth hit of the inning for the Indians. Second hit of the game and third of the day for Jackson Merrill. So that'll get another chance for Jason, for Jansen Hollingsworth to come up. Hollingsworth already has three hits today. And five in the series. As he's first ball swing, he hits it in the air toward right center field, and that's going to fall as Paulson has it kind of bounce behind him a little bit. That's three straight multi-hit games for Hollingsworth. He picks up his second hit here. So runners at first and second. Still only one out. Preston leads by three. And that'll bring up Ezra Benavidez. As again, we'll get a pinch runner at first base. Or I should say courtesy runner. As again, it'll be Derek Pitcher to go in and run. So here's Benavidez, one for three. Struck out, fouled out, and singled. As they go to set up in double play depth through the Diamondbacks. If you're thinking about who they have due up in the bottom of the seventh inning, it would be the bottom third of the order. As it would be McCaslin who came in to pitch, and then Mendez and Snyder spots as that pitch is over for a strike, and it's 0-2.
So 6-3, Preston here in the top of the seventh. 0-2 the count here on Benavides. And the 0-2 offering. Popped up foul. It'll go out of play and it stays and no balls and two strikes. So Preston battling to try to get, stay ahead and you earn the split here. They have 13 hits in the game. They lead it six to three. And again, the 0-2 pitch. Misses down and away, one and two. Nice to see the Indians players up and encouraging their players. You see Century and, and Pocatello do that a lot while we're here, but usually Preston's pretty quiet in the dugout. Ball hit in the air to center. Up on the ball comes Paulson. He's there. He makes the catch, and that is the second out. So two outs, and back to the top of the order again in Cade Oxborough. Ox, oh, it was one for four here today in the nightcap. He was 0 for four in the opener. Runners at second and third, two outs. And the first pitch here to Oxborough is sliced down the right left field line, but it's going to go foul and out of play. So 0 and 1, the count on Oxborough. Today's game brought to you by Butterfly Express Essential Oils. Remember to use the code KCH10 for 10% off all regularly priced items when you shop online at ButterflyExpress.shop. 0-1 on Oxborough. The 0-1 pitch is low, gets away from the catcher, and that's going to allow the two runners to move up. So Merrill goes to third. Hollingsworth to second. Now Caden just put a ball in place someplace and pick up a hit and get to pick up a couple of more runs. But he hits a ground ball to second base. There's Mendez has it, played it across in time for the out. And Preston has to settle for the three unearned runs in the inning. So they get three. On four hits, there was an error, and they leave two on base as we are done with six and a half. We'll go to the bottom of the seventh inning on the Flying S scoreboard. It's Preston 6, Pocatello 3 on the My Local Radio Sports Network. K-A-C-H, mylocalradio.com. Looking for unique ideas to promote your business? How about something for that special gift? Celebration, team sport, vacation, or family outing? DeMarie's Vinyl Designs can design and produce items for any occasion, male or female, with the highest quality merchandise and procedures that will not fade, peel, or wear out. Check out her store on Etsy at etsy.com slash shop slash DeMarie's Vinyl Designs. If you haven't been to Woodward's Country Store lately, you are missing out. As proud supporters of Westside and Preston High School Athletics, we're here to fuel your day and support our wonderful community. Fill up your tank, grab a delicious sandwich, and get everything you need for life's little adventures. Woodward's Country Store, where convenience meets quality and community spirit. K-A-C-H, mylocalradio.com. Well, as we go to the bottom of the seventh inning, this game brought to you by Papa Jay's Deli and Jerky in Clifton. Next time you're in there for lunch, uh, for one of their mouth-watering meat sandwiches, grab some of their world-famous hickory smoked gourmet beef jerky as well, or you can order it online at papajays.com. Well, they're going to let Eli Hammonds try to close it out as he goes back out to the mound to start here in the bottom of the seventh inning. As... It'll be Aiden McCaslin who came in to re- assume a rebay spot in the in the lineup at the in the pitcher spot to lead off and the first pitch over for a strike and it's 0 and 1. McCaslin who did not play in the opener hits a ground ball to short Thompson straightens and throws him out. Nice play. So one out. So here is C.J. Short, 
who came in to replace Mendez a couple innings ago and walked. He's up there now for the second time. Short, who played second base in the first game today, takes the pitch down low, ball one. Was hit by a pit. No, that's just, he singled. In fact, he was one for three. Was that on a great play at third base by by uh, Mendez, but for the Indians. One one pitch on the way. He's hit foul back to the screen, and it's now one and two. So one and two the count. Cooper Snyder waits on deck. One out in the bottom of the seventh, and Preston leading 6-3 as the pitch is high as it goes to 2-2. Two and two. We'll have a post-game show for you coming up. It's getting darker as we go along here in Pocatello. The lights are not on, by the way, the 2-2 two -two pitch. Is it going to be a ground ball again to short? Thompson looks that one into his glove, straightens and throws out short, and there's two outs. So two down. And here now is Cooper Snyder. Snyder's walked and flown out. He's 0 for 1. There's only two official at-bats of the, of the game, in fact, of the series. He didn't, he didn't appear yesterday at all back in Preston. As the pitch home is going to be up high, ball one. One ball and no strikes. Hammond's done very well. He's allowed five hits. As he's going for the complete game here. As that pitch is over for a strike, and it's one and one. One ball, one strike. As the Indians trying to earn the split in the doubleheader. Ground ball to third. Zabian has it. He'll go across in time on a bounce. And dug out over there at first base by Benavidez. And the Indi as the Indians put down the uh, Century Diamondbacks in order here in the bottom of the seventh inning and go on to split the doubleheader, winning the second game today by the final score of 6-3. to three. So nice uh, effort on both sides for the Indians and the Diamondbacks as they'll split the doubleheader. Preston wins the series two games to one. We invite you now to stay tuned for the postgame show. It is coming up next here on the My Local Radio Sports Network. <laughs> Today's game is brought to you by Bexted Real Estate the real estate experts for Franklin County and beyond. Day Mountain Ranch, relax, retreat, recharge. Crumbo Cookies, bringing friends and family together over the world's best cookies. Magnolia Road, ladies, stop in and update your wardrobe today. Puppy Steps Training, Northern Utah and Southern Idaho's premier board and puppy training facility since 2011. Butterfly Express Essential Oils in Clifton, where quality doesn't have to be expensive. West Motors, your only stop for newer used cars in Preston and in Logan. Stokes Market True Value, with the freshest meat and produce in Preston. Webb Funeral Home, serving Preston and surrounding communities since 1925. Ralph's Construction, building homes in the Blue Sage Park area of Preston. I care for you, not just a name, but a commitment. Franklin County Medical Center with the finest care in all of the Cache Valley. Preston Auto Parts Car Quest. We have all the parts you need to keep your car running strong. Naylor Insurance, your local agent for home, health, life, and auto. North Stars Ultimate Outdoors. Get ready for your next outdoor adventure at North Stars Ultimate Outdoors in Preston. Evergreen Financial Partners. When planning your future, trust the experts at Evergreen Financial Partners in Preston and now in Pocatello. Farm Bureau Insurance, the Smith Agency. Don't leave the things that matter to you to chance. Call Farm Bureau Insurance, the Smith Agency today. Northern Title, the trusted name in the tri-state area. And by Papa Jay's Deli and Jerky in Clifton. Now, stay tuned. The Rouse Construction Post Game Show is coming up next. It's a beautiful day for a ball game, for a ball game today. If you and I are out of dollars and cents, oh, honey, we can always share a little hole in the fence. It's a beautiful day for the ladies. So throw all your dishes away. We're going to 
cheer and boo and raise a horn. WattSmart is Rocky Mountain Power's energy efficiency program. WattSmart provides rebates to residential customers for energy efficiency upgrades made around the home. Devices and appliances that use electricity in your home can usually be made more efficient and that can save you money and energy. When you decide to make upgrades, we have rebates available for you. Visit WattSmartHomes.com today. Whether you're an athlete looking to treat strained or sore muscles, a multitasking mom seeking balance, or just looking to boost your mood and nutrition, Butterfly Express is here for you. Experience the soothing scents and holistic benefits that cater to both your body and mind with our wide selection of essential oils, herbs, and supplements. And the best part is, unlike other big brand companies, Butterfly Express is affordable and local. Visit us in Clifton or explore our collection online at butterflyexpress.shop and use the promo code KACH10 for 10% off all regularly priced items. Quality doesn't have to be expensive. Butterfly Express Essential Oils. Step into a realm of beauty and sophistication at Day Mountain Ranch Home and Apothecary. Immerse yourself in the gentle radiance of our exquisite and popular candles, filling your home with captivating fragrances that embrace the senses. Bring refined tranquility into your home and elevate your connection to harmony through our exquisite decor, all while staying here in Franklin County. Elevate your living space with the allure of Day Mountain Ranch Home and Apothecary. Visit us today on 10th North Main Street in downtown Preston. If you're looking for someplace new as you head into your golden years, look into the tradition of quality designer homes built by Ralph's Construction in the Blue Sage Park area of Preston. Working in Phase 3 now with Phase 4 starting soon, these homes can be built to a floor plan that you desire, or Ralph's Construction has other options that you're sure to fall in love with. Call today for more information, 435-232-1837. Now is the time to plan for the finest home of your life. Time. Ralph's Construction, 435-232-1837. Across the FM airwaves, we're heard at 105.5. On the far-reaching AM dial, we're at 1340. And on the internet at mylocalradio.com. Wherever you find us, we are KACH. Preston, Smithfield, Logan. It's time for the Preston Indians post-game show. Coming up, we'll recap the just-completed game, take a look at the final stats, and a look at what's ahead for the Preston teams. The post-game show is brought to you by Ralph's Construction, building quality designer homes in the Blue Sage Park area of Preston. For more information, call 435-232-1837. Well, welcome back here to the post-game show as the Indians win it by the final score of 6-3 to three here uh, in the nightcap of the doubleheader as Eli Hammond spun a beauty in the nightcap going all the way, allowing just five hits, three runs, two walks, and a strikeout to pick up the victory as the Indians are able to earn a split after losing the first game today. So Preston now three and six overall on the year. The Diamondbacks, as they split the doubleheader today, they are now three and nine overall on the season. For the Indians, as uh, they... Uh, get the split here today. They take the series from the Diamondbacks 2-1 as they have three games left in conference play as that comes up against the uh, uh, Pocatello uh, Thunder coming up here in about a week and a half or so. So the final totals of the game brought to you by Home uh, Farm Bureau Insurance, the Smith Agency. Call to find out how they can help you at 208-852-2364. For the Indians to win it, six runs on 13 hits. They had one error. They left nine on base. For Century, three runs on five hits. They committed two errors, and they left just three men on base. Eli Hammonds goes the full seven innings and gets the win. The loss in the uh, will go to Dason Uribe in a game that took one hour and 21 minutes to play. 
We'll take another timeout. Preston wins it 6-3 on the Flying S. Tylen Escrow scoreboard. We'll look at our player of the game coming up right after this. K-A-C-H, mylocalradio.com. Hi, I'm Brad Phillips, professional trainer and owner of Puppy Steps Training. I believe that life is more enjoyable with a well-trained dog. That's why my team and I have come together to give you the ultimate dog training experience through Puppy Steps Training. Our eight-week board and train program is specifically designed to give your puppy a head start on life. Along with access to our extensive training material, you will receive daily progress reports, weekly photo and video updates, and a hands-on training demonstration. Discover the ultimate dog training experience with Puppy Steps Training, the premier dog training facility in northern Utah, and proud supporter of Westside and Preston High School Athletics. Webb Funeral Home is proud to be the leading provider of funeral services in northern Cache Valley, including southeast Idaho, for almost 100 years. We are a full-service mortuary offering the highest quality services with very affordable pricing. We have plans to meet everyone's budget, from traditional funeral services to graveside services and cremation options. We gladly provide free insurance coverage review, quality headstones and monuments, as well as funeral transcriptions. Let us answer any questions you might have by calling us at 208-852-0533. Webb Funeral Home, a trusted name in funeral service since 1925. Protecting buyers and lenders in Cache Valley for over 40 years, Northern Title is the trusted name in the tri-state areas of Idaho, Utah, and Wyoming. The staff at Northern Title in Preston protect you from unknown complications like access issues, unpaid taxes, hidden liens, or easement restrictions. Choose the right title company. Choose to close with Northern Title of Preston. Good deeds done daily. Call today at 208-852-5700. K-A-C-H, mylocalradio.com. All right, a lot of people to choose from as far as our player of the game today. But uh, our player of the game brought to you by I Care For You. With our uh, eye-popping performance, you have to give it, even on a losing effort, to Eli Blackhawk. As Eli, on the day today, was 5 for 6 overall. He scored 6 runs in the game. And... Even drove in a couple of runs. And he was the winning pitcher in the first game of the doubleheader today. So certainly, Elias Blackhawk was our eye-popping player of the game. Take our last time out. We'll come back and tell you what's on tap for the Indians coming up right after this. K-A-C-H, mylocalradio.com. If you're looking for someplace new as you head into your golden years, look into the tradition of quality designer homes built by Ralph's Construction in the Blue Sage Park area of Preston. Working in Phase 3 now with Phase 4 starting soon, these homes can be built to a floor plan that you desire, or Ralph's Construction has other options that you're sure to fall in love with. Call today for more information, 435-232-1837. Now is the time to plan for the finest home of your life. Time. Ralph's Construction, 435-232-1837. People oftentimes ask us, why do people from other areas of the valley or other parts of the state or drive so far to come here? And, and I, a lot of times I'll ask them, so why did you drive past several different dealers to come and buy your car here? And they, a lot of times they say, I just like the environment here. I like the low pressure. They don't play games. You guys are straightforward with me. You don't, you know trick me into buying something I don't want. We, we take care of people the way we want to be treated, and so they'll drive a ways to do that. WestMotorCompany.com The greatest of life's moments can pass in the blink of an eye. Make sure you enjoy them with clear vision. The optometrists at I Care For You have been serving patients in Cache Valley and Preston for 43 years. As a full-service optical store, you'll find glasses, contacts, and professional eye health and vision exams. Doctors Philip Cromwell, Jeff Cromwell, and Lance Henderson are committed to providing you with professional care for your vision. Call today to schedule an appointment in Preston or Logan. I Care For You, not just a name, but a commitment. Listen for Dan Hubbard and Preston Indian Sports on KACH. Well, the Indians earned the split as they come back to win the nightcap by a score of 6-3. to three. And hopefully they'll be able to keep this kind of momentum going coming up on Saturday when they'll have another twin bill coming up back at home, this time against the Bear Lake Bears, an early start 
First pitch is scheduled for 11 a.m. We'll have the pregame show starting for you Saturday morning just after 1030. And certainly hope you can come out and join us. The weather should be good. Nice warm temperatures and hopefully be a great day for baseball. So until then, I'm Dan Hubbard from here in Pocatello. Our executive producer of uh, Preston Indian and KECH Radio Sports is Val Cook. Our studio coordinator is John Beverly. And we thank you for joining us here this evening. Until Saturday morning, from back home at Tony Hansen Field, the Indians able to earn a split in the doubleheader today and win the series against the Century Diamondbacks uh, with winning the nightcap tonight by the final score of 6-3. to three. From here at uh, in Pocatello, I'm Dan Hubbard. Have a very pleasant good night. Thank you for listening to the Preston Indians postgame show. This broadcast has been a production of Preston Broadcasting, LLC, and was intended for the private, non-commercial use of our audience. Use of any portion of this production, its accounts or descriptions, in whole or in part, may not be used or rebroadcast without the express written permission of Preston Broadcasting, LLC.